It was in the oldest times before the world was covered in force and iron was tamed by the dwarven masters before the advent of humanity and the mastery of the bread and ale arts, ale making arts. The world was then ruled by dragons and demons. Yes, draconic serpents and demonic creatures were the princes and princesses of the old and oldest times. They were the primordial forces through which the world and its primeval matter was formed. The sky, the mountains, and the fiery oceans of magma and unthinking life. They were opposing, opposing principles that made the world complete. Law and order versus chaos and madness. The stable and fixed versus the wild and eternally fluid. Dragons versus demons. The most ancient records tell of the draconic empire that once spanned much of the known world where the emperor's peace was upheld in by cruel dragons mounted dragon mountain mounted knights but the texts also contain traces of another great power from a different age governed by demon princes who shrouded the world in madness and murderous rage remnants of these realms still rest in the earth beneath their feet in the depths of the great forests and chasms of the mountains of the mountains slumber memories from ancient eras when vicious beasts reigned the hostility between dragons and demons brought death and ruin upon the ancient civilizations it seems that almost like a fundamental law of nature that anything created by dragons alone is corrupted by demons and that anything born of demonic will is burned to ashes by dragon fire. However, this basic and incontrovertible truth also gives hope, cause for hope and it created the conditions which allowed for other nations to be born where humans and other kin have been able to flourish and go their own way. But the ancient guardians of order and destruction will never lead this world to fate. As sure as night follows day, and the time will come again when dragons and demons fight for power over humanity, nature, and the eternal mysteries. That's right. Tonight we're playing Dragon A Dragon Bane. This is an upcoming RPG from Freely Publishing. This was a very successful uh, Kickstarter. It's long overdue. Uh, we should have probably had this on weeks ago, but it's been crazy hectic schedule here behind the scenes so thank you so much to everybody for tuning in we're going to be playing dragon age the quick start is in the link below also uh, i'll put the link if you want to lead back this uh, this uh, project as well so stick around we're playing dragon bane Hey everyone, welcome to Victory Condition Gaming. My name is Doug. Today on the show, we're playing Dragon Bane. This is an upcoming RPG from Freely Publishing. Um, if you are uh, excited about this RPG uh, and this product coming out, please hit that like button down below. And if you're tuning in for the very first time, I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button because we do all sorts of actual plays and interviews and we showcase a whole lot of tabletop uh, content, uh, whether it's uh, games, designers, uh, just everybody that, that, that creates uh, some really great, awesome stuff. Uh, we've got a great cast tonight. Uh, this is a new edition of a game from the 80s uh, that uh, Sweden had that was basically their version of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it was uh, Dragons and Demons. Uh, it, uh, yeah, it's it's got a huge following over there. It's very well loved and it's uh it should be kind of fun. Well, we're going to kind of play it up a little bit and as it's intended to be. So yeah, stick around. We're going to have a good time. So without further ado, let's bring on our cast for this evening. Uh, we've got a great cast to show off this game. Thank you everyone for joining me tonight. Hello. As, How's it going? Uh, everyone uh, excited about Dragon Bane. Yeah, yeah. I am ready. So this yeah. is a kind of it. It's a D twenty system, but it's fairly. I feel it's fairly rules light, and and it's it kind of like puts all the the crunchiness uh, kind of aside and lets you just kind of role play. And, and it's very player facing as far as your roles are concerned because you're going to be rolling D twenties. Uh, this is a roll under system, so your ones are actually going to be good in this role, which usually i roll a whole bunch of ones and it's bad so i should probably be playing in this game because i'll probably roll really really well uh but uh yeah this is a, a d uh, roll under system so ones are good 20s are bad um so don't roll any 20s well uh, maybe maybe roll a few because that'll be entertaining it'll be but, helpful uh, for for our gm yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so 
without further ado, let's. Uh, I'm gonna. In, I'm going to uh, introduce our players for this this session. Uh, let's go with uh, Amanda Call. Amanda Call from AgentNight.com. Hi, I'm playing a uh, Crisana. The wait, she's got like a. I lost the page. She's got like a a, a Kenning too. It's uh, Crisana the Bold, and she is a halfling thief. There she is. There you go. Uh, and right underneath you on the screen is is Austin. Austin, who are you playing tonight? Hey, I'm playing Macander of Half Bay. Uh, I am a, uh, <laughs> a mallard duck. knight. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, you. We we had to have that character in this. Yeah, this you, actual no, play, so. there was no oh, yeah. Way. yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm uh, I'm so super stoked that uh, you'll be playing that. And uh, next to you is Jason, aka Hexeter. Jason, who are you playing tonight? I will be playing Archmaster Aodon. He's nice. a magi. The magi, very cool, very cool. I think you're basically our only magic user in this this party. If I'm, not I mistaken. believe so. Yes. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And then last but not least, Josh, you've got a character that I also had. A, uh, it was either if I were going to play this in this section, I would have probably picked either uh, Austin's character or your character. And uh, do you want to tell us who you're playing tonight? Yes, I am playing Baston Bloodjaw. I am a wolfkin warrior. Awesome. Awesome. Looks very, very cool. All right. Uh, let's just get right to it if you want. Uh, so you, you are adventurers who have come to the Misty Vale in search of glory and riches. Uh, you've heard rumors of an ancient and very valuable crown buried inside the Ritter Mound. And have walked there several days before uh, you get there, and uh, it was several days of hardship. Uh, you get there. There's a clearing. Uh, there's a hill crowned by a stall by tall standing stones, rises in a glade in the middle of the forest. The place is strangely quiet. Usually, you would hear birds chirping, flying overhead, leaves rustling, but for some reason, it is eerily silent hmm. however you notice there's a faint but ominous odor a putrid smell an odor oh oh like, like rotten vegetables oh would you would you like to uh go up to this uh this mound that uh you've seen in this in this clearing in the middle of the forest hmm I mean, sure, it said that it's yeah. supposed to be under a mound, so we should explore the mound. Do I right. do I recognize this this smell? Um mm, not it smells really, but give me a survival roll roll and see if uh see if you can uh notice anything else in this area. And if anybody okay. else wants to do a survival roll, you can as well. All right. Yeah, I will. Right. So this is going to be your D20 um, compared to your uh, survival uh, attribute or skill, which is, uh, and then you're going to want to roll under. How about equal to? Sure. Uh, it looks like <laughs> Chrisanna and uh, McCander. I, roll I rolled a one. Oh, and nice. A okay. Good thing this time. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, what about uh, Baston? Baston no see no No, smell. you didn't really notice anything. You're, too busy. You, you're no. rushing up to this this clearing and you're not really noticing anything. You you're, you want to get right into it and see what uh, see yeah. what it's all about. All these stone sculptures. What about uh, uh, was it uh, Ahon? 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 Uh, I elected not to be involved okay. because okay. I'm covering my nose to hide from the stench. Okay, sure, sure. So, uh, McCander, uh, you and uh, Chrisanna kind of. Uh, gingerly kind of walk up this uh, this mound and into this clearing and uh, you notice uh, that there are uh, a lot of footprints all around. Uh, both of you notice that there's a lot of footprints. Uh, Chrisanna, you notice that not only are there a lot of footprints, but there are also uh, small piles of droppings and ex excrement on the ground and since you rolled since you rolled so well and you rolled a, a, a one which is a a dragon in this case uh you actually know that this excrement is 
wolf and uh, goblin excrement. Oh, okay. I'm good yes. at scat identification, apparently. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So there, there, there were wolves. Do I know like how fresh this is? Does this look fresh, or does um, this look like maybe a day or two old? I mean, it's you still care. Pretty smelly. I do so. care. I care if they're still here. That's it's, what I care about. I mean, it's 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 fresh enough to know that it that it's still pretty putrid to smell. Okay. So. Great. So there were wolves and goblins around here not that long ago. So we should keep a sharp eye out. Uh, as you, uh, I'll put up on the screen the uh, the the, uh, the the kind of the layout of the map. Uh, you see all these stone pillars all around in a circle. Uh, and as Bastion and uh, uh, Aodon, as you uh, approach these uh, these pillars, in the center you see probably a six foot by six foot square slab of stone all right um would i know anything about the circle in general is that a is that something i might know about no no you just know that this this area is called ritter mound all right no worries um i will approach the square stone thing yeah i'll follow okay yes i'm, I'm gonna yep. hoist my axe and kind of have it at the ready no knowing that we have uh fresh droppings in the area sure sure um yeah you kind of you know best on and and uh it was it how do you pronounce your name aodon aodon uh you kind of uh, slowly like walk around the the perimeter of this square slab and uh you notice that most it's it's a pretty large slab but you notice on one side of it there's like mm, Probably a, a, a one inch gap along the bottom of it that uh, it looks like there's just empty space. Hmm. Mm, maybe we could get something in there, or is this possibly a hinge? I could stick my spear in there by all means. Sure, you want to okay. give me some sort of uh strength roll or. Yeah, I can so do it. Sort of show. Does anybody? So here's the thing with with um, with rolls. Uh, if you get someone else to help you, you get a bang, uh, a boon with this roll, which is another d20. It's basically like giving you advantage. So you get to roll two d20, take the better of this. The the. Yeah, uh, I'm roll. standing right there, so I will assist him. You and uh, Aodon and and Bastion, you, you try to. My uh, you terribly know, masculine and, mage. Sure. And try yeah. To push the, yeah, I like we're, that. We're going to shove my spear into a dark crevice. Okay. All right, I got a three. That's my best Yeah, one. that's perfect. Uh, you wedge the, the spear. You kind of just shove it down really good. Uh, Aodin kind of puts his back against the, the square, uh, you know, the, the square slab. And I'm not really helping. I'm just of, leaning on it. Yeah, you both kind of just <laughs> push yeah. it and open and it. You, it, it takes a little bit of force, but you force... It uh, over enough so that you notice that this is actually a dark crevice down below, um, and there's a, there's a large cra uh, cavity beneath uh. this stone slab. You just didn't uh. say it right. You got to say the crevasse. Crevasse. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> um, okay. I am going to use a will PowerPoint and uh, cause a little bit of light at the entrance, just so we can see deeper in. One, one other thing I will mention that as you move the stone slab away from this crevasse, there you go, Josh, there you go. Um, Thank you. Like stale air kind of rises up from this, from this uh, hole in the ground, and it just has this musty smell of stale air, and uh, you almost think that it smells like dried up corpses. Uh, oh. Wow. Well, mm. Good. This is... Nothing it wrong is with that. Some sort That's of normal. burial area. I'm not too surprised that there might be rotted flesh and bodies and yeah. whatnot in here. Ooh, maybe maybe the statues are like tombstones. Maybe that's what that is. Quite likely, yeah. Tombstones are some sort of uh, anc not ancestral, uh, some sort of historical uh, yeah burial indicator. Sure. Nice. Is there any kind of staircase or anything down the crevasse? No, it is. It is just, just a, a dark, deep, dark. Just hole. a pit. 
uh, the light that I created, does that uh, illuminate it down to the bottom or can I see any further or no? Um, I'll just be dancing on my fingertips, all professional-like. <laughs> yeah, you can see down, um, you, drop, you drop a light source down into the shaft and uh, you see that it leads down into a vaulted earthen cave with some form of doorway in, uh, in the northern wall. So it briefly, it, it, as, as it falls down and falls to the ground, it briefly illuminates all of the area. And you can kind of see really quickly that there's a, a door to the north and before the flames kind of flicker out and then it goes black again. Excellent. I nominate everyone else but me to go first. Wait, what? Well, how are we getting down? I don't have a Gravity? rope. Does anyone have a rope? Oh, sorry. I have a rope. Excellent, Grisana. Welcome for being prepared. Excellent. Oh. Uh, it, if you guys want to hold on to the rope, I don't mind going down first. I'm always looking for action, so. Yep. You have, I'll go right after wait, him. I have a quick question. Does Baston have hands and feet? Mm hmm. Sure. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. I hadn't actually looked at his at his at his character art. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh th think werewolf. Okay, cool. No worries. Or I just alternatively wolf furry. There you go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure before we tried to watch a dog try to climb our rope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I am just gonna grab to onto his out, jaw you know. and just be like ah. scramble, yeah, scramble, scramble, thud. <laughs> Ruby Roo. Oh, wait, wrong game. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, uh, you, Chris, Chris, Anna, you want to use your rope to uh, tie off to one of the, the Yeah, the we'll tie off to and, one of the, the, the big stones. Or, and, or you and could probably like, tie it around the, the, the square. I don't know how big, I don't know how long your rope is, but. It doesn't say. I'm going to say okay. it's it's plot length and yeah we... let's let's say you can tie it around we'll say you can tie it around the the square slab really sure. fine and and it gives you enough to to roll down or at least get you down about halfway uh before okay. you have to kind of let it go and and then and jump down um do does every everybody give me a mobility roll uh and you all get a oh. We'll say a boon. We'll give you a boon on this okay. one. So yeah, we'll give you advantage. I'm on this happy one. to hear you say that because my mobility is eight. <laughs> I actually have a bane to mobility, so would they cancel out? They would cancel each other out. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> you actually have flippers. Success. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so Christiana, Chris, Christiana ties it up, and, and McCanner goes down, and he gets down. You you get down. I would say you've got about six feet uh, to like let go, and then you just drop. It's it's pretty easy, pretty pretty easy drop uh, once you get down to the bottom of the length of the rope. Uh, who else? Uh, who else rolled their mobility roll? Uh, Baston uh, followed after McCander. What uh, what did you roll? Um, I rolled an eight, so I'm under my twelve. You're under your twelve. Yep. So you you also do the same thing. You know, you kind of take two hands and and uh, lower yourself down, and then kind of jump at the end and, and land on your feet. Uh, who 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 goes third? Uh, that would be McCander. No, uh, go, unless they, if everyone listened to me. <laughs> well, I think McCander went first, and then oh, did you go first? Went for one second. Does Christiana go third or? Sure. Okay. Did you did you succeed your role? I did. Okay. Awesome. Yep, you make it down, no problem. I rolled uh, three, so I succeeded in mine as well. Oh yeah, you got you all. Yep, you just lowered yourself down, and uh, you you enter this this area. Uh, it's not yet time for me to embarrass myself. Does the roll. anybody <laughs> have a uh, uh, light or anything? I have a um, torch. I have. I can create light if we absolutely need it, but it's not the cheapest thing I can do. It, it I'll, is. I'll, Yep, go ahead. I'll say, I, I, yeah, I should probably save your willpower points. Uh, yeah. I mean, I we have torches. Excellent. Yeah. So McCandor, you know, lights up the uh, the torch and kind of, you know, holds it up. It shows this uh, round antechamber that uh, you all landed in the middle of. Uh, it's a dome-shaped chamber with a floor of beaten earth. 
Uh, the darkness is far above, and you can see the opening up above you, and it looks just like a faintly glowing squ square. Uh, on the north of the wall is a set of double oak doors with iron fittings and a silvery symbol that stretches across both doors. Both are flanked by, uh, which, which are flanked by statues of knights in antiquated armor. All right. Okay. Um, should we, I suppose we should check out these statues before we go anywhere. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Um, can so you want to check out the scat the, the statues? Is that what you said? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll step forward to the one on the left. Okay. Uh, give me uh, a scouting roll. Whoever oh, wants another. to whoever wants to inspect some things in the room, let me know. Just give me a scouting roll if you want okay. to. Uh, okay. Um, I got a six, which is one underneath my seven. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, okay. Failure. You failed? Okay. Uh, yep. A anybody else want to take a look at anything around this this antechamber? Oh, sure. Antechamber? All right. I see I'm, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going straight towards the door. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Eodon, you notice that the, the armor... Uh, you know, is is nothing really all that great, um, but you do see that there is um, some footprints and drag marks, drag marks in the, the dirt floor. So you see in a lot the of neighborhood of the statues, or towards the door itself, just around the whole area that lead to the, the probably lead to the door. Um, okay, and. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and is, and Bastion, you go right up to the door. Is that what you just said? Yeah, I'm go. I'm looking for the doggy door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you see that the door is slightly ajar. Sweet. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna paw it open a little bit and peek in. Um. Give me a. How careful are you opening this door, by the way? I'm fairly somewhat last maybe words. careful. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to be noisy. You know, I'm just pawing it open. I want to see what's on the other side okay. before well, I go it, charge it, it in. It is a very, it's a, it's a, they're big double oak doors with iron fittings. So it's going to make some noise if, if you uh, give me uh, some sort of sneak roll. Okay. All right, to do it without right. making any noise. Uh, sneaking. All right. Let's see. And that's a four. So my sneak is six. So yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah. You, you open the door. And the hinges kind of shriek just a little bit. They squeak just a little bit. And you hear it. Of course. Ee! And then all of a sudden, you kind of hear it kind of echo in the chamber, and you hear, ee, ee, ee. and it causes you to pause for a second because it wasn't all that loud to like actually hmm. echo in the chamber. And you look up and you see a whole bunch of black, furry items hanging from the ceiling of this ang from this antechamber. Yeah, I go through the door. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I just go through. Also, everybody else also notices this this squeaking noise that uh, also happens, and I need everyone to give me a uh, sneak uh, roll to get out of this uh, this chamber without uh, letting these. I can tell you right now, there is so little chance of this. Wait, does a tie go to yeah. me? Yeah, tie goes to you. Yeah. Okay. I got a four. My my sneak is four. <laughs> you nope. fail. All right. So Chrisana and and uh, you know uh, Aodon they they kind of tiptoe out the door behind uh, Bastion after he opened up the door. Um, McCan McCander, of course, being the um, the web footed hero that he is, um, <laughs> unfortunately 
as he's like walking towards the door, uh, he his, trips and his falls. His feet make that, make that little splat. Bah, 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 and of bah, course, bah, bah, all of a sudden, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, he falls and um, you see all of these uh, black uh, furry creatures. All of a sudden, they, all of them at the base of their, their furriness, uh, this one big red black red glowing eye opens up and they just start falling from the this the ceiling and start flying towards mccander oh the furry torpedoes oh my gosh um and they're, uh, they're, what, what they look like is they're just giant bats with one eye is yeah, basically yeah. what you're what you've got at this point coming at you okay i am going to take my torch and kind of uh swing it out in the air in front of me to try to hold these things at bay okay um yeah uh give me some sort of roll for that i don't know what we'd want to do for a roll for that um persuasion you're trying to persuade them to stay away <laughs> all right yeah I'm, I'm okay with it i mean I'll, I'll allow it since i'm the gm but yeah go ahead i got some real low stats and i was really anticipating what you're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> that was a success. Is it? Yeah, you wave this torch uh like as you're like trying to exit out of the uh out of the antechamber, you're waving the torch back and forth and you can see them like starting to dive bomb at you with this big red glowing eye on each of them and they're just in, as they get closer to you they open their mouths wide and you can see these white white this teeth that that, that 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 have like the saliva that, that that comes down dripping off of them and you're just whacking them as almost like uh, as you're, you're and then you slam the door behind you and shut your shut it uh and, and close them off and you can hear them all of a sudden like thud 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 against oh, the door oh, and then and then oh. all of a sudden it just stops after a while <laughs> Ugh. gross <laughs> That's yeah, that's awful. Yeah. All right. So we make it out of the chamber and close the door. So yeah, so you make it out of the chamber and you close the door. All right. Yeah, cool. Good. Good. Awesome. Well done, everyone. Awesome. Scooby Doo is leading the pack. <laughs> <laughs> so as you uh, go through that door that uh, was to the north, uh, you see that. There is a room in front of you and two hallways to the left and to the right. More statues. Oh, it's my worst enemy. Decisions. Yes. Um, so which which way would you like to go from here? Um, I think it's in our best interest to keep going straight for the moment. Also, I'm curious to check out these two new statues. Sure. Yep. I'm not going to argue or about it. Are these suits of armor? Can I see them from here? Like, um, you'll yeah. have to go up and and and, and take a look at them because it is still right. pretty dark down here. Because so, so okay. whoever's got the the light is going to have to go up and and uh, kind of go into that will, room. Yeah, I'll go with you. Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to go to the torch on the left, or torch. Sorry, the statue on the left. So you go up and go into the uh, the small room with. Oh, wait, uh, um, that yep. thing at seven is that something in the room? Uh, no, that's, that's just the, the room, room itself. That's the room. That's itself. just the number. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just making sure. So you go into the small room with a floor of beaten earth. Uh, there's a flickering light of torch streams that that that, that, that stream through a black iron is it portcullis portcullis. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, in the it. far in the far wall, and there's two mummified guards with rusted chain mail and long spears that flank this gate. Mummified? Yes. Well, now I'm really curious. Hmm. I'm gonna go uh, examine the one on the left closely. Okay. I'm gonna uh, stay in the the cross section there. I'm not going into the room, okay. but I'm gonna go ahead and light my own torch. Okay. So I can watch from a distance, you know. Sure. Um. Yeah. You at this point, um, uh, Aoden, you notice that the, the guards have armor on them, uh, rusty chainmail armor, and uh, each one has a long spear. All right. Um, do they actually look like, when you say mummified, is their skin just all like shrunken and dried, or are they actually wrapped? 
Um, they are uh, shrink, sh- like probably the skin's shrunken like and desiccated yeah, skin yeah, mostly. Yeah, mm. it looks just like. All right. Um, I'm going to take my staff out. It's just a plain staff, mm-hmm. and I'm going to prod one in the chest. Okay. Uh, as you prod it in the chest, you see that the chainmail armor uh, just kind of crumbles uh, and and falls to the ground and and just kind of crumbles into pieces. Oh, well, oh this my. is definitely beyond ancient. Then, mm. um, I will like cover my mouth and nose just to keep the mummy dust from getting in my face. Okay. Uh, other than that, it doesn't does not move, and it just stays stays there with uh, standing. It's uh, standing there holding its uh, uh, this long spear. Gross. Definitely gross. gross. Um, good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see anything through the portcullis with the? Because you said there was torchlight flickering through that portcullis. Yes. Yes. Um, it's completely rusted out, and yeah, that's there's it does it looks like it's immovable. Okay, but we so what do we see looking through it? Uh, you just see flickers of light. That's all you can okay, see. Okay, but it. we can't really make anything out. Okay. No, because it's so small. The, the, okay. the, the areas are so small. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just wondering. All right. So do we want to try to pry this open or do we want to take a hallway? Mm, it looks like it's in pretty bad shape. And if we start trying to dismantle an entire metal portcullis, we're probably oh, going it, to attract a lot of attention. It would make a yeah, great deal of noise, I have no doubt. Yeah, this. so let's go back and try a different direction for right now. All right. That we know this is here if we want to come, if we hit a dead end and mm-hmm. want to come back yeah, and try. Of course. Right. Um. Let's see what uh, let's see what happens here. Let's, 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 let's you know, I'm just gonna, just gonna roll this die for a second. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, as you walk back out of this room, um, towards, you know, that, that center hallway where, where you can go to either left or right, um, you can kind of hear the, uh, ceiling start to shake and, and rattle. And there's like little bits of debris that start falling and, uh, someone needs, you all need to give me a, a spot hidden roll. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, all right then. Oh, I got another three. I'm good. Okay. Oh, dang. I, I also got a three. And for once, I am so happy that I always roll absolutely horrific. All right. Rolls. <laughs> uh, Chris, Chris, uh, oh, and, and Bastion, are, are you both, Bastion are you both in that, in that room? You both are in that room? Yeah. Okay. Uh, please give me a well, mobility. Not, roll. not in the room. I'm in the cross. The... Okay, you're in the cross. So you're out of that room. Okay. So you're still kind okay, of standing there I never watching went it. In. You're watching okay. all of this as it's as it's starting to to fall down <laughs> onto your your mates. Um, Chrisanna, give me a uh, mobility roll, please, to see if uh, you get uh, taken Squashed. out. Squashed. Yeah. I succeed my mobility roll. All right. Yeah. You you notice since you're small and you're you're kind of like a I don't. know. You you see that that uh, this this ceiling and this uh, is starting to collapse, and it just there's this big chunk of ceiling that that just comes down just as soon as you like roll out of the way. It, if you were just like a split second more, it probably would have just taken you right out. Um, ah! And uh, the whole room is just covered in rubble at this point. Oh, okay. Okay. Did it ex- does it eh, rather sorry does it expose anything in the ceiling that we can see or is it just more ceiling above us still just more ceiling above you all right so we'll have to keep our eyes on the r- roof uh as it were uh, as we continue that's yeah. very strange why did the roof collapse i don't know maybe we tripped something did we step on anything maybe a trap maybe there might have been it's neither here nor there now uh, everything of uh, the statues and whatnot were squished by this oh yeah everything's everything in that room everything's flattened now. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, well, that uh, eliminates any interest we had in that room, so yeah. left or right is our choice now. I'll vote left. Yep. Sure. Sounds good. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Guess we're going um, left. 
as you go left uh, on the screen here, uh, it's this long kind of tunnel. Um, as you start to walk through, you can kind of hear some scraping along the wall, like almost like some metallic scraping along the walls. And a blast of cold air kind of just comes and hits you right in the face. Oh. And it's just filled with like musty smells. Um, and then there, uh, along the walls, um, you see there's like slithering roots and worms and centipedes are all hanging uh, like stalactites from the ceiling. Ah. And uh, it's the, the whole ground's very, very slippery. Good Lord, this place is disgusting. Why is this place so awful? I don't know. <laughs> Um, well, let's just move on, I guess, so we can get out of here as fast as we possibly can. Yeah, we'll be we'll, we'll be careful to avoid the wall. Like, we'll try not to touch anything, basically, is what how we'll move, I suppose. Yeah, that makes sense. Unless somebody wants to handle a centipede, which I really don't recommend. I don't. No. Uh, yeah. Um. As you uh, walk down this 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 uh, corridor, uh, this tunnel, uh, you also can kind of almost hear in the background some dragging footsteps. It's like, doom, mm -hmm. doom, doom. ahead of us well, or behind us? Yeah, from from where? You're not quite sure where. It almost sounds like it's all around you. Well, that's not helpful, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> I've you, got uh, my torch in one hand and my throwing spear in the other. Sure. Uh, as you turn the corner, uh, you it opens up into this round uh, or this not sorry this square uh, the square area. Um, round square. Like, I'm sorry, not I said the square area. My my my, my apologies. More, we just came from a couple circular areas. With more things collapsing. Yeah, yeah. You can tell that there's definitely uh, some some uh, some rubble uh, around. It's a it's a dark and damp chamber with an earth floor. Uh, dugout burial niches uh, cover the walls from floor floor to ceiling. Uh, broken skeletons, smoldering rags, and shards of crushed pottery can be seen all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna uh, kind of poke around in some of this and see if there's anything valuable in these. Okay. Um, it's already all all like messed up, so it's fine. Yeah, you can't possibly make it any worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's, fine. it's fine. Sure. Uh, give me some sort of spot hidden roll. Okay. That's I what just I tell made my it. kids all the time. It's fine. Okay. Everything's awesome. fine. Uh, what, what what would you like to look into? Would you just looking at? Uh... I'm I'm kind of like uh, sifting through some of the the like rubble around these burial niches like where i see like the, the smashed pottery and anything else that looks like artifacts i'm just kind of seeing if i can find anything valuable in there like you know jewelry or other grave goods okay. um you don't really see anything on, on are you going to the left or the right of this room i will go to the left of this room okay. so you go to the left of the room and uh you can definitely tell that the the all that area is just um stuff that's been smashed been crushed there's clothes that are slashed and uh yeah you can definitely tell that this was done intentionally this is not something that was done from the roof falling or something that uh, hmm. somebody so, ransacked this place at, at least that okay. side of the of the uh the chamber okay i'll tell the, the group i'm not finding anything over here it looks like somebody's already been through it I'm, I'm going to raise my torch above my head and inspect the ceiling for any more uh, possible <laughs> sure. devious ceiling does mechanics. It, Search for look, falling death. <laughs> does it look like the ceiling is about to betray us? Uh, give me a spot hidden roll again. There, uh, McCander. Uh, that is a fail. That is a fail. Um, you don't see it doesn't you can't quite tell your light is kind of showing doesn't really shine it really brightly up because the the ceiling's so high you can't really get a good read on the, the ceiling um, but for most intensive you know for most purposes it looks like it's not like like faulty or anything it looks like it probably was is holding up okay okay maybe, <laughs> we're, maybe. we're all expert miners <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> all right um I guess we will uh, 
continue to uh, should we, do we continue to search the room or do we move on I, i'm not sure i don't see anything really noteworthy i'm uh i'm just watching over everybody uh ready to throw this spear if anything should move I'm not <laughs> not particularly a fan of the idea of grave robbing that's not why i'm hey, here they've but... already they've already been robbed it's fine we're i know just i'm just saying grave... i don't wish to yeah we're grave gleaning it's fine <laughs> all right so... then Best, and you, you said you're just kind of watching over, making sure everybody's. Yeah, not I'm kind of holding taken. the torch out, got the the spear draw okay. back, and <laughs> All right. turn around well, for a second. Ah, why are you pointing that at me? Yeah, also, also <laughs> give me a spot hidden roll and, and see if uh, okay. see if you see anything that that kind of strikes your fancy. All right, spot hidden. Let's see, like a pepperoni or something. Ooh, <laughs> yes, I made it that time. All uh, right, just awesome. barely. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you kind of uh, over on to the the right of this uh, this room. Uh, you kind of see uh, some some like a skeleton, and it's starting to twitch a little. And oh, some of oh, some of the air, some of the things around it are starting to move as well. I instant instinct just throw the spear right at the uh, skull. Okay. Uh, all of a sudden, you hear uh, you hear. Don't hurt! Don't hurt! Grab! Don't hurt! Grab! 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 Grab back! Gonna kill you! Don't! Don't! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Well, I hope I don't hit him. <laughs> and it, uh, it goes through the the, the skeleton, and uh, all of a sudden, you see kind of uh, these uh, red glowing eyes and uh, these uh, green this green face with with sharp teeth, and it kind of peeks around. And uh, you see this little goblin behind, uh, behind, kind of hiding in the debris. And he's like, "Grub, grub, not hurt you! Grub, not hurt you! Please be, be, be please be careful! Don't, 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 don't hurt me! Uh, I've been thrown off." What? What? Hey, settle down, settle down there, guy. I, I, I get out of here! I get out of here! I, you no, 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 no! Stop! 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 No, you need to go. You need to go. I, need to go. I, I start go. growling. <sighs> Someone grab him. <laughs> Okay, so somebody give me a persuade roll, and we'll give you a boon on it since there's two of you that want to uh, contribute to this interaction. Oh, wow. Wow. See, I told I told the chat my dice would catch on, and then they would betray <laughs> me. They know what's up. I just rolled two 20s. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, yeah. They know what's going on. This little green uh, goblin is like, I... I don't want no help. I don't want no help. Don't 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 want no help. Don't don't no 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 harm. No, I'm gonna go. 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 No, I'm trying to stop. No, stop it. I'm trying to. No, I'm trying to talk to you right now. Will you stop? And you can just tell he just kind of smells, and he's just he looks. He's just very very shaken and 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 scared. And he's just really there's just you're he's really like petrified at this point. So he's genuinely petrified. Yeah. I'm going to step over to block one of the exits of the room. Okay. Which which one are you going to uh, step over to? Uh, I will block the southern exit. Okay, the one that you just came in? Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, you just came in up, up through there. Okay, awesome. From four. Yeah. Um, yeah, you, he, he's, uh, he just looks at like he's like... Oh, don't I I don't want to go the other way. You you I, I, I just let me through here. I will be I will be really really quick. And you won't have to deal with me anymore. I will just go um Mr. Uh, Mallard Duck thing. I don't I, you're so, so much better than me. <laughs> Mallard Duck thing. Oh, all, all we want is to talk to you. No, time for talking. We're, we're, we're not done. we're not looking to hurt you. I saw some great horrible things. I don't need to stick around anymore. I thought you were him. <laughs> him? Yeah, who's him? Oh, 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 I don't don't want to talk about it. He's just he's not 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 good. But we need you to talk about it. That's the whole point. Hmm. Talk about it, you'll let you go, and you can be on your way. Uh, Aodon, give me another persuade roll if you if you can okay. try to uh, persuade him. Um, five made it. Um, 
So Grub here, uh, finally, you, uh, Aodin kind of, what, what do you do to kind of calm him down? Do you have anything uh, that you can uh, offer him to? Um, does he look cold at all, maybe? Uh, sure, we'll say he's cold and because he's got his clothes are all slashed from okay. something that um, happened. I'll burn a point of willpower and I will heat the, the area around me for 10 meters. Okay. I'll make it perfectly warm and toasty. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah, he, he, he kind of calms down. He sits on the floor, kind of, you know, crisscross applesauce. And uh, he says, uh, I just, I saw terrible things. My, my goblin kin, they were just decimated. And oh. he, we, we just wanted the treasure down here. And we didn't know he was going to be down here. And, we saw the death knight the death and, he, and he moves from, from room to room, but he does not, does, does not take mercy on us. He knows that we're here for his belongings. I don't, uh, I don't want it anymore. I don't, I don't, I don't here. We even found these to help us. And he pulls out from, from his pocket, a, an iron ring with, with uh, three keys on it. And uh, he's like, I will take that from him. <laughs> and he, 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 he goes, you can have it. I just, you, you have to help me out of here. I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. And I just, I, I'm so sorry. My family and friends, they're, they're all gone. And, in what direction did you come from to get to this room? Uh, we went, he, we came from that direction. And he points to uh, uh, Macander uh, standing in front of that door in that, in that entryway. That's the one we haven't gone through yet. No, right? that's, the, that's the one you did go through. Oh. So if you go, uh, basically you went around, there's two number fours. Right. So you came up from the bottom of this number five. Sorry. Oh, so okay, you okay, took okay, a you took a corner that. and came up uh, so into number five. He's pointing towards that number four. Yeah, he's he's pointing toward he's pointing down. You're down here at the bottom of number five. Right. Yeah. yeah. Instead okay. of up at top, and he's pointing there. He's basically pointing the direction that you came into. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, I will pat him on the head and thank him for his help and. Direct him to go back to the entry area, which oh. is, I guess, the safest area. Yes, he does not go there. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good that you... Yes, we should have just stayed there because he does not go there. And, and yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. Well, off you go, little smelly goblin man. <laughs> Wait, the, the entry area, isn't that where all those flying one-eyed bat things were? <laughs> Shh. Oh. Did... Did you wake them? Uh, no. Super, no, it's fine. You have to be super quiet in order for okay. them not to wake up. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Okay, good. I'm glad you didn't. Uh, glad you didn't uh, wake them up. I will. I will go through there, and and I will be extra quiet. You're extremely yeah. short. You'll be fine. Good. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Baston All right. is already like in the uh, northern okay. passage, just kind of lighting it up and sure. So with that, uh, Mechander, you let him go around you and and uh, walk through. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, Aodon, you look at this ring of this iron ring with the three keys in it, and you notice that um, two of them uh, are intact, and one of them is broken. Okay. Okay. So we have two locks we might be able to open. Yeah. Uh, so, Baston, you go up to the northern uh, corridor, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's another another uh, tunnel. And at the okay. end of the tunnel, uh, you see that there is a... here you see a uh, another locked portcullis and Aha. it is uh 
also rusted and not moving. And inside the lock of this porcelain, uh, you see that there is a broken key inside it. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, can we maybe take that broken piece out and try another key? Uh, it is stuck in there. Well, again, Doug, that's not helpful. Uh -huh. um, I could attempt to knock the door down. It would be noisy. Yeah, yeah, it would be noisy. <laughs> I, well, I think if there's a death mite prowling the area, maybe we don't want to be noisy. Right. True. Why don't but... we go back down through and then go to the right? Because it might come up on yeah. the opposite side of I mean, that chamber. Yeah. There we go. It might be, it might be it, symmetrical. We could try that. It, yeah. In theory. Uh, <clears throat> Mikander, um, did you go into that hallway? The, the, um, the Bastion and, and Ar Arc uh, Master Aodun uh, went in? to When they went through the. Um, uh... Yes. You went. You you followed once it was all once the grub kind of left. You you let them through. You went up and, and went over to that uh, that that uh, tunnel. Yes. Mm, okay. Um, as uh, Bastin and Aodin and Chrisana are are kind of inspecting this uh, this iron door, um, all of a sudden uh, you have this weird feeling come over you and all of a sudden your eyes roll to the back of your head oh oh and all of a sudden you aren't with it for for a moment and you get this stray memory that envelops you and all of a sudden you just seem to be looking out over a strange city of turrets towers and horn-like spires Every comes, everything just comes flying straight at you. Just everything, just like like it's like it's just flying towards you. And all of a sudden, a huge dragon, written by a knight in a in golden plate in golden plate mail, and a great horned great helm. And I want you to roll for a, a willpower roll. Oh boy! Uh, willpower. Oh, that is a failure. Okay. Um, you now uh, have a fear condition, uh -oh. um, which I believe is one of your... Yes. So you are going to take probably the scared condition. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, okay. So based with with this, unless you'd like to... Uh, no, you can't push your roll because you're going to take a condition anyway. So uh, with this system... Uh, whenever you uh, fail a roll, um, or in this situation, if you fail fail this roll, um, you can sometimes push a roll, but you're going to take a condition. In this case, you that was part of the roll was 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 if you didn't fail, you, if you didn't pass it, you're going to take a condition. Uh, you t are now scared, and now whenever you roll your willpower rolls or anything to do with willpower you're going to be rolling with a bane, which is like disadvantage. You're going to roll 2d20 oh. and roll and, and take the lower of, or the higher of the two um, okay. until you kind of calm down and find out to uh, find something, maybe find like 15, 20 minutes or a half hour to kind of rest and kind of maybe, you know, soothe your, your scaredness. But yeah, you're, you're just terrified out of the, from having this vision of this, this golden plate mail knight riding a dragon, just kind of just, rushing towards your face and rushing straight at you. And all of a sudden, as he whizzes past you, almost feeling like it went through your body, you know, in, in, in spirit form, uh, you snap out of it and you're just petrified. You're, you're just terrified of what you just saw. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stand there and I would imagine not move for a little while. Okay. Um, Probably just uh, almost like a sleep paralysis thing, but not. Sure. I guess when he stops moving for a little bit, I'll uh, I'll go up to him and put my hand on his shoulder and say, uh, McAnder, are you all right? What's wrong? I'll kind of give him a shake. Uh, when he shakes me, I'm, I'm going to turn around with my axe raised over my head 
and uh, oh. kind of stop. <laughs> I can kind of stop myself just before I bring it down. I love it. Ah. Okay, what's what the hell, man? What's going on? Ah. I don't I don't know what happened, but I saw I saw a a dragon rider in the sky uh, coming right at me. Um, I don't know. I don't know what kingdom that was from, what city that was from, but it was so vivid. What were you doing when it happened? Honestly, just kind of standing here. And I don't experience anything standing there with him at the moment, right? Nope. Huh. Are are you feeling okay? <laughs> are A little you, like, shaky. Having an episode? Do you need to lie down? <laughs> Has anything How like many this ever happened before? Am I holding up? It looks like three. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, a, a nap would be nice, but I, I think lying down here is not preferable. I really don't recommend uh, that. It's Fair. you know, it, it's probably nothing. It's probably nothing. You've never had something like this happen to you before? No. Uh, I, I usually usually pretty clear headed, not uh, mm. not one to have visions and such. Maybe the influence of the Death Knight, perhaps. Well, hopefully not. Okay. Um, so, well, in the, in the meantime, um, you think you've got it back together, Macander? We can continue. Uh, yeah, onwards. All right. All right. So are you going um, you going back down through the uh, the entrance that you came or what, what what are you doing at this point? What yeah, we're going to go take the other hallway, I believe was the plan. Okay. The road less traveled or not at all traveled in this case. Uh, so you go back through. Uh, you come back through four. As you come th- back through that uh, that 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 uh, you know, tunnel on the the left there that, that you're coming back through, uh, in the distance you can kind of hear chainmail rattling just kind of faintly and you're just not quite sure where it's coming from it just kind of just chains just rattles rattles alone become eerie (laughs) Mm -hmm. okay um all right yes um as you walk through that centerpiece you again you walk towards the uh the tunnel to the right uh you walk around this one and uh, you get right to the end of this uh, of this tunnel before it takes a sharp uh, left and, and you come across a, uh, a a dead goblin uh, the body's oh. just Ooh. severely mangled Wait, wait, is this the goblin we just saw, or is this a different goblin? Um, give me a because oh, it's no. pretty mangled pretty 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 no. well. So give me some sort of um uh, I don't know. Oh, I can uh, probably sniff it out. Yeah, I can <laughs> spend a, I, I can smell, smell it. Like it. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can. I can spend sure. a willpower to you're do that. Just, you're probably better you can off you can spend a willpower to do that? Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's uh, it's part of my uh, hunting instincts. Oh, that's three. That's oh, th- I, I got to spend three, but I'll do it. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, you you uh, reach down and you kind of <laughs> sniff all over the goblin. It does not smell like grub that you uh, encountered earlier. This is a no different shaggy. goblin. Different goblin. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's that's uh, a little bit. I feel a little less guilty now. Yeah, <laughs> a little, a little less. Smidge. Uh, right. Yeah, I'll trudge. What? I'll trudge forward just a little bit uh, ahead, just to kind of sure, light the way. Sure. Uh, McCander, you had a question. What type of wounds are on this goblin? Is like like slash marks? Are they? Um, yeah, it looks like a whole bunch of just slash marks that uh, have cut right through, uh, most of his clothing. Um, you know, he's, he's really badly bloodied and beaten up and just, yeah, it was worse. It was bad enough that, uh, you know, he was, he was just sliced all over the place and, and you can, 
since he was so severely mangled, you couldn't tell right away whether or not it was grub. Let's put it that way. Okay. Mm. But it was definitely like slashing and, and that type of, uh, those type of wounds. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, well, there's nothing we can do for yeah. this poor soul. Uh, I will follow so. by Boston. Boston, do you, do you, you're just going to, you, after you've done sniffing him, you're going to uh, keep going up? The, yeah, uh, I'm you're going to take that I'm left. And... Yep. Uh, you enter this rather like long, you know, rectangular chamber. Um, it is a dark chamber that is packed with a, another packed dirt floor. Seven simple sarcophagi of stone are lined up along the walls. Several of them are open, and two skeletons have been thrown onto the ground. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, of one of, I'll inspect one of the unopened ones. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Baston, you open up one of the uh, the sarcophagi and you find four individual buried skeletons. Several of them kind of small. You would say they're probably not Goblin full, size. not full grown, you know, adult size. They're dressed in their moldered remnants of beautiful ceremonial garments. They are. They all wear gilded headbands. Yeah, and jeweled rings. Oh. Okay. Jeweled rings. Hmm. And you said these were children. Small. It, def it definitely Small. looks like it. Definitely looks like they are child sized. Hmm. It's but unusual. I'm child sized too. This is true. Okay. So either either halflings or children. Um and there's how many sarcophagus? Sarcophagi Do they appear to be as are... ancient as the statues. They look yes, they, they are skeletons, so they've been there quite quite a while. Um so there are uh four individually buried skeletons. Uh let's see here. There are seven of them, and uh, it looks like four, one, one, two, three, four, five of them are open. Six, seven. There's, there's quite a few that are that are still sealed. I, I may be reading too much into this, but looking at those skeletons, uh, does it appear like could I tell the how they died? Like were they stabbed? Do you, Maybe uh, they causes. just looked like no. They looked like they were like mummified. Um, okay. They just they they have uh, almost like they were like buried there in some sort of like ceremonial process. That that's where it was getting. So maybe it wasn't like a sacrificial type thing, like an offering. Um, hmm. I don't know. I guess. Uh, I guess just go sniff some of the other other coffins. <laughs> go sniff some more coffins. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you you just see more of these small size uh, corpses or skeletons, and they all have these gilded headbands and jeweled rings on them. Wait, um, isn't Krasana your uh, you? You're like childlike, right? Yeah, I'm a halfling. Why don't we dress her up in these clothes? Wait, what? You're gonna what? put dead what? people clothes on me? Why? Aren't well, they they're not. <laughs> they're not using. Um, you you know that that the, these these uh, head these gilded headbands and and uh, rings would would actually be pretty worth a pretty penny if you were to take them. Yeah. Home. Why, why would I wear them? Just stick them in the bag. Well, yeah, but then you, you know, if we run into somebody, you could be like, hey, I'm one of these children people things. What? What? Uh, are there the same <laughs> amount Is of... Is the mummy dust getting to your brain? Stop sniffing Are there the same amount people. of mummies in each coffin? Like, is it like exactly three in each one? 
Um, is there a pattern here is what I'm getting at? No, I mean, usually there's like one in each, I think, you know, but you find four of them. So, yeah. Listen, I would do it, but I'm a giant furry werewolf. I would look like, you know, grandma in sheep's clothing. No one needs to do it. We don't need to do that. We can just take this stuff and not dress up like dead people. Oh, you're no fun. How is this fun? What part of this is fun? You know what? Yeah, a, a usual descriptions for fun, Baston. You know, <laughs> you know what, though? Scooby-Doo and Shaggy would do it, so Bastion's at least going to put on a crown and a few of the rings. Okay. okay. All right. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'm not going to stop gonna you from up... taking loot, Baston. I just think the whole cross-dressing bit is a little odd. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pick up uh, crowns and rings, and if I find any other jewelry or anything sure. like that and shove them in my bag um so so baston takes one a set of uh, one crown and and you want to cut t- a couple rings yeah yeah take a okay put rings. those on your character sheet you know that the crown or the uh, gilded headband would probably be worth about five silver and the Ooh. rings are worth three each nothing wrong with that but that's not why i am currently here i am actually curious as to what is going on here now Right. Well, that's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. And if Krasana would just play along and dress up like one of these. I'm not, I'm not doing that. What if we dress you up and then put you in one of the coffins? Maybe it'll unlock some... No, I'm just... No, absolutely I just want to shove you not. in a coffin. <laughs> that is not happening. Look, trying to find excuse. Well, you could roll persuasion. No! <laughs> Um, okay, um, so I'm assuming Baston and Chrisanna have a the, fish effectively searched the room now? Yeah, they, they basically, I mean, you, you're more than welcome to, to search it a little bit more if you want, but... Uh, well, perhaps on the way out, we can yeah. take our time. I'm just, I don't want to be searching a room when whatever's making those chainmail noises rolls on by. Right. So, onward, ever onward. Um, you go up to the you go up uh, north of the uh, the room, and uh, it, you can see that there is another tunnel to the left that kind of loops back around. Um, and yeah, you walk down that uh, tunnel. It, again, it is very uh, there's roots, there's slithering roots, and and you know damp ground, and you know it's definitely not a very fun you know tunnel to be in. Uh, but you know, you see worms and centipedes kind of scurrying along the sides of the uh, of the tunnel. Um, and then uh, up a, up ahead, you see another locked portals. Another one, or is this the other side of the one we saw before? Uh, you see another one. Okay. Um, is there a key broken off in this lock? Uh, are you going to go up to the portals? Who's going up to? Yes, you have the key. Uh, I will. So, I have so the key, yeah. so I will approach it. Yeah. Awesome. I don't like it when you say that. <laughs> Makes me nervous. As you approach the port close, you notice that the, the key, there is a, 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 a lock that, that would fit one of the keys that you have on your key ring. I shall um, try. A key. You, you take a moment to reach down and grab oh. your uh, key ring, your iron ring. Uh-huh. And as you are you know, going through the three keys to try to find the one that fits, you, you meander towards the porculus. Um, as you walk towards it, the ground beneath your feet opens up and gives way, and you fall uh. down into this chamber, and I need you to roll a uh, mobility roll, please. Okay. Um, historically, this will not end well as my mobility is an eight, but we'll see what we do. Uh, I rolled a nine, so no. You did not. Oh, you no. did not hit your moon. Okay. Uh, as you fall down, uh, there are these uh, wooden stakes at the bottom of this chamber. Oh no! And you fall directly on two of them, uh, slicing uh, and piercing. Uh, your your sides and uh, you know your your body, uh, okay. and you take eleven hit points of damage. 
Oh, oh unless unless you have some sort of armor. Do you have any armor on you? I have uh, no armor whatsoever. No I armor. Am, yes. So I am but a humble mage. You oh, take no. eleven hit points of damage, okay. which I believe puts you at zero hit points. It. You believe correctly, sir. Right. <laughs> oh no. So in this case, I am a I, skewered mess. You are a skewered mess. I need you to roll me a roll against your uh, constitution, please. Could you at least throw the keys up before you die? Listen, I'm falling to my death here. Be quiet. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of busy. Uh, I got a six. I'm rolling under still, right? Yep. I'm under 11. Okay, so yeah, you, you okay, that's good. That's good. We're, we're good for right now. Uh, you are very, uh, you are pretty much incoherent, but you are still alive. And <laughs> uh, you are laying in this, uh, in this, you know, chasm, in this, in this pit uh, with some, some wooden spikes uh, still kind of stabbed into you. Ow. And uh, before before they went in, you definitely gave out some sort of kind of, you, you know, yell or scream Whoa. a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And I don't know what else uh, y'all want to do now at this point. I'm going to walk uh, over to where I fell through and just look down and go, oh, um, we, we got to get him out of here. I'll just turn my eyes towards him. Like, just be like, Oh, you, you, you're not. Yeah. You, <laughs> okay. I was going to say, you, you're not even really with it, but I that, like that, that. Whole, that, that whole creepy, girl. that whole creepy thing, you know, when you walk up to a guy who's half dead and they just I like, like their eyes pop open and they're just like, that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh, do we have another rope? I take that uh, as a no. No, no, I had the one rope, but it's back at the entrance where we left it. Oh, okay. I mean, you, you could give me a, a mobility roll probably to uh, uh, scramble to, down. To scramble down if you somebody wants to uh, try to get down there and uh, not get. Uh, if you want to help I'll, somebody, if you want to help somebody, I'll give you a, 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 a boom on have it. A, I have a pretty I decent I can at mobility. least get the keys. If anything, Wait, hey, 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 hey! What? I'm, I'm just saying. Worst comes a, to worst. I have a I pretty decent keys. mobility. I will try to get down there. Okay. Okay. Does anybody want to help Chrisanna? I will help. I do. Lower her down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Elden, you're, you're 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 you can't you help. Can't help. No, but I I want to. I, I just would can't. love to. <laughs> um. So. Uh, yeah, Chrisanna, give uh, give a mobility roll with a uh, boon, so roll 2d20. Wow. No. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you get lowered down, and uh, as McCander's kind of, you know, using his hand to uh, lower you down, it kind of slips out wait, of... Wait, wait, isn't there a thing where I can, like, try to try to re-roll? I yes, can, you, like, can. you can. You can re you can push that roll if you would like, but you're going to be taking a condition. That's fine. I don't want to fall on it. <laughs> okay. That would be bad. Yeah, land on me, push the spikes in even further. I don't want to ah. do that. Sure. Right. Let me try again. Shish so kebab just, adventurers. Am I yes. just re-rolling one just, of them? Like, how does this work? Just re-roll. No, you re-roll both of them. Okay. Okay. Big bucks, no whammies. Okay, now I made it. Yay! Okay, <laughs> now you do have to take a condition. Which condition would you like? You could take dazed, sickly, exhausted, angry, scared, or dirty. Um, one of those, <laughs> whatever, whatever you use for, whatever you take for a condition, you're going to have basically a bane whenever you roll that attribute skill or that attribute uh, until you, you know, resolve that that condition. Sure, I guess I'll just get filthy then. I'll okay, be, I'll yeah, that kind of makes sense. I, I like that. I like that. What you're going to do is, is you know, uh, McCander kind of lowers you down. Uh, you, uh, as you're low, being lowered down about halfway, uh, your your grip on uh, McCander's hand kind of slips. Uh, you you fall, missing the spikes, but you definitely get all dirty in the process because it's like all dirty scrape, and gross and mucky. Scrape my way down the side. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. Sounds great. Sounds great. Um, okay. And, and you get to uh, Aodin, which you can just see he's out of it. He's got some spikes through him. 
you definitely want to uh, probably try to uh, to I, help him I would, out as much I would as love you can. to help him. I don't know what I do. Oh, healing is a thing. Okay. Yes, you can heal him. Okay, I'd like to try to take him off the spikes and heal him. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's de skewer him first. Okay. <laughs> so give give me a healing roll. Okay. This is I'm not good at this. Oh my goodness, but I made it. I made All right. it. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, I'm trying to find I know you in this case you stop uh, bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> She's just patting me on the head. If you could just stop being dead now. I know you you <laughs> heal that would him. Be great. Two hit points. Wee. So he's now conscious. Gasp. But he's definitely <gasps> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Definitely uh, taking some, some, some beating. I have it's hurt okay. my most of me. If someone could yes. assist me, it's, oh. it's okay. I am <laughs> assisting you. What do you think I'm doing down here? Do, try not to panic. You've been skewered. Try not to panic. There's like a spike sticking out of my side. It's it's fine. No, I took you off the spikes. You just have very large holes in you. It's fine. That's not doing anything for my confidence. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just uh, move slowly. Don't panic. Oh, that's a guarantee. <laughs> oh, wait. Actually, um, I am, other than horribly wounded, functional, right? Uh, for the most part, yes. Okay. I'm going to gather my wits for a second, and I'm going to reach down, and I'm going to dig my hand into the bottom of this pit, and I'm going to cast Pillar, which causes a column oh. of rock one or uh, well for the sake of the americans in the chat 3.5 feet wide and uh 10 feet tall to uh, to rise up out of the ground underneath me to try and like lift me up out of the pit okay yeah i'll i'll uh, i'll do that uh, uh, it cost me two willpower points but i shall do so awesome uh yeah you uh, you you're you with all of the energy that you have uh, in your body uh, you kind of cast this spell and raise your, you and uh, Chrisanna up out of this uh, out of this uh, pit, um, and you're up back onto the uh, this, this sur surface um, where uh, you were. There... What's that? Can I roll healing on myself to like just make sure I'm physically okay? Sure, I will allow that. Okay. Uh, oop, I rolled it on the side here. Um, I'm good. I got a ten on a fourteen. Okay, so you roll, I mean, you heal yourself four hit points. Cool, so I have six, yay. So you have six hit, hit nice. points at this point. As most mages do. Yeah. All right, um, um, that sucked. I never want to do it again. So um, yeah, we'll just, we'll say you kind of, you, you like take a moment, you rest up. This is kind of what, you take a stretch rest. Um and uh, actually, is is, is Chrisanna, are you going to help? Is anybody else going to help uh, Aodin now that he's out of the pit when he rolls and when he tries to heal himself? Uh, I'll hold his keys for him. Sure. sure. Okay. <laughs> man, so, man, man, man. Yeah, you... you I can uh, cast Fireball, Baston. Don't you forget <laughs> it. <laughs> so uh, you you find oh. some bandages and some some you rip some of your clothing off and kind of, you know tourniquet your your holes that you have and and uh maybe you take <laughs> some of the you know the, the, the that you've been stabbed through and 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 yeah okay i didn't I just, realize what i just said come on, Doug. <laughs> whatever y'all okay all right whatever composure composure i so have the it. stab wounds that you have how about that um, and maybe you maybe you uh, take uh, like a, a he, the the torch and, and kind of uh, you know what is the what, what do you call that when you like cauterize you know, cauterize the, yeah. the wounds and uh, yeah you take there a minute and uh, you fully uh, heal up to all of your your hit points oh, okay. after uh, you know about a half hour or so and and you're like whew, whew, that right. could have been a lot worse if I had just been uh, you know been a in lot that worse. If, if well, if you had been probably in that pit, longer, you probably would have bled out. Well, if, yes, if my friends weren't here, Baston not included, uh, I would have probably died. <laughs> right. Um, um, now that yeah. I've got this pillar in the middle of the pit, can I step across sure. the pillar to the other gonna, side to the I'm going to say yes. You can get across the pillar. No, you can get okay. across the, the cat that uh, pit. No problem. All right. Nice. I am going to attempt to use one of these keys in the lock. Yeah. It. Uh, 
yeah, it opens up the uh, portals. Excellent. I and will it kind of, very, you know, carefully try to open it. Yeah, without making too much noise. <laughs> um, it, uh, yeah, you. It opens up into this area. In front of you, that's that's the uh, the entrance off there to the right that you see there on the screen. Uh, it opens up, and uh, you see this small room with an oak table in the middle and burning torches on the walls. This is, seems to be the light that you saw that was flickering through the uh, gate at the oh, uh, lit torches. Cool. Right. Yeah. Um, you also see a mummified woman in gilded chainmail sitting at the far end of the table. What is with all these mummies? This is creepy. An yeah. iron-fitted oak door behind the mummy bears an ancient symbol in glittering silver. Ooh. That sounds important. Um, nothing moving in the room. The mummy's not turning to look at us or anything weird. Um, not yet. <laughs> mm, well played. Okay. Um, I will hmm. go over and try to uh, take the chain mail off of the mummy and tried to wear it. Okay. Um, I, okay. Yeah. That be a thing as, that as you approach uh, this mummy, uh, she uh, kind of, she starts moving. <laughs> See, told you. <laughs> and she starts screaming at you as in some oh. foreign, like ancient language. And she's like, oh, okay. Draconis, oh. come on, come on. And, and she just she's just yelling all this gibberish that you just can't see. And she just she looks like she's pointing, you know, uh, she, in, in the Did direction. I try to of understand her. I'm being a mage and all. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me some sort of learning roll. Okay, learning. Sure. I look uh, at her and I go, Ruby Roo. <laughs> ah, I missed it. Crap. <laughs> Rolled a fifteen. You roll a first. Yeah. It yeah. sounds just really like a whole like it sounds like an ancient language that hadn't been hasn't been spoken in quite some time. All right. But yeah, it's probably something that uh, you know your ancestors, she, their ancestors probably. Yeah. She looked like she's like moving to attack, or she's just yelling at us. She's just it almost looks like she's pointing for you to, and she's very animated, and she is pointing in the direction which you came, and she's just. Keeps on pointing that way to leave. Exactly. Is, yeah. That would be probably like, like yeah. general impression here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll approach the door behind her. Oh, wow. Oh. All right. You're just pushing all the buttons, aren't you, Bastin? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Um, she just keeps on uh, yelling. Um, you kind of can kind of understand a couple of the words that is, as she's yelling uh you can understand uh uh chrisana you understand the word dragon okay. and mccanner uh mccander you understand the word empire hmm. and okay. you just um and yeah that's that's all you you know um you can tell that this this mummified lady is she's kind of translucent she's faintly blue shimmering uh she's like a phantom so wait wait, wait. she's like a mummy ghost she's a yeah. ghost mummy yeah and she's a tall warrior maiden in full length chain mail with a gilded headband and she looks very sad but dignified oh okay but she's mm. also yelling at us to leave yes she may be Guarding something, maybe, maybe behind yeah. one of those behind that door. You mean this door over here? <laughs> the door that Bastion's standing <laughs> next to. The um, store are, are you to going? Are you down? going up to the? Are you going up to the door? You're not heeding her words at all. Are you kidding? Bastion? Have you met him? <laughs> I've right. got, I've yeah. got my little crown on. I've got my rings. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm here all the time. You loot goblin, you. <laughs> okay, yeah, you as you, because uh, she's standing right in front of that door. And since you aren't backing down, as soon as you get like really up close to her, all of a sudden you see her face contort and sh shift, and it just oh. turns into this terrifying death mask, and the eyes just go blank and just empty, and her eye sockets are just this black pools of of nothingness, and she just just screams, and you can feel her scream just come out and it just 
causes like your your fur to kind of ruffle around <laughs> your your face. And yeah, everybody uh, roll a d10 at this point. Yes. Wow. Oh I can't boy. That, uh, you're, you're, yeah. D10. Okay. okay, so we're all right. Oh, that's not a d10, Dougie. Dougie, what are you doing? Just roll whatever. It's fine. All right. And we I got a 13 on a D10. No. So, Hoots, uh, you, you've got a 7? Wow. You, I got yeah. 4. Uh, okay, so I, uh, you got a 1, uh, Aoden? You bet. Okay. So, in this case, um, Aoden, you see that, that all of a sudden she's not happy with Baston. So, you get to uh, make the first uh, first move at this point. Um, okay. Uh I just I need to quickly look at something here. I'm going to uh, step forward towards her, and I foolishly removed the bookmark from my my actual spell descriptions here. Oops. Uh, ah, found him. Okay, never mind. Um, all right. I am, okay. I'm going to step towards her, and yep. uh, once I get to within a couple of feet, or maybe a meter, actually, so like four feet, um, I'm going to thrust out my hands and inhale a great big breath of air and just blow it out towards her and i'm gonna yell fusro da <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and cast gust of wind on her um i'm gonna ah. use it i'm gonna use it at level two okay so it's gonna take um four willpower yeah um any untethered creature within the area of effect is pushed d3 meters away from me per power level so it's gonna be um basically a d6 meters away from us and they suffer the same amount of bludgeoning damage so Bastion is probably in front of you as well. Yep. I'm going to try not to hit him. All right. All right. Emphasis we'll on the that. word we'll see, try. We'll, we'll see how well this, this all goes. I'm not aiming for him. Right. <laughs> but your area, it, like, the, there's an area. It's a, it's a cone that, that starts from my, my basically sure. my mouth outwards. So. Exactly. And it goes, the, uh, the range is 10 meters. Okay. So it's going to probably, I guess this room's only like, what, four or five meters wide? Okay. So it's easily going to cross the whole room. It's going to push yeah. her back again. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, we'll see. Uh, do you did you roll? Uh, do you have to roll for that? Uh, yeah, sorry, I have to roll for I have to roll for my sorcery. Sorry, yeah. just to cast it, not not anything else for it. Um, I mean, I succeeded. Okay, yeah, you uh, you throw this uh, this gust of wind at it. It kind of blows it back into the the door that's behind it, and um, yeah, we'll say that uh, Bastion kind of uh, gets pushed also. A, off to the side a little bit of, of the, but okay. you know, it's still fairly close to Bastion. Okay. Um, uh, and she's going to take 2d3 damage. It's going to take how much? Uh, it takes 2d3 damage. Two so d3. d3 d3 twice, basically. Or 1d6 if you prefer. I don't care. 1d6, okay. <laughs> so it takes one point of damage. Well, it would oh, no, it'd be two, 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 two damage. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> to do two damage. <laughs> um, it just, it kind of uh, it doesn't really affect it all that much, but it does take two two points of damage. Honestly, I really just wanted you to get away from Bastion. That was my goal. So, <laughs> right. Um, who Bastion and Chrisana? I think you both rolled a what? Four. 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 Okay. Which one of you uh, would like to go next? Ladies first. All right. Oh. Okay. Uh. Keeping in mind, he tried to stuff you in a coffin not too long ago. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I Listen, I'm having a bad hair day with all this wind being blown back and forth and sideways. Hmm. Sorry, I had a yawn. Um, can I can I try to get around to that door? I know that's uh, where Rustin is going. You can. You know that uh, this this ghostly translucent lady is is like kind of like right in front of it, though. Yeah, but I want to like I want to I want to like maneuver around her part of my whole thing is being is, is i have the ability hard to catch and okay. i'm uh i am light and silent on my feet okay so i feel like i should be able to to try to like dodge around her to get to what i'm trying to get okay Does that yeah make sense? you want to get you want to get to that door is pretty much what you're saying right i want to get okay. to that door but i feel like i even though she's in my way that that yeah. should be an insurmountable obstacle so that's fine you, you can tell that her her uh attention is definitely on bastion and, and right. aodin at this point since aodin just did you know two points of damage to her um and uh you know bastion was like right there in front of her and uh yeah there he there she's totally just you know, 
and and yeah. you can kind of sneak around and get close right. To yeah, I don't want to draw her attention. Like I specifically do not. Sure. So should I uh, roll it as sneaking? <laughs> um, sure. Give me give okay. me a sneaking roll. And I made it. Yay. Okay, awesome. Yeah, you kind of sneak so around sneaky. and you get like close to the door. Not quite at the door right yet, but you're pretty close to it. And uh, you know, and she doesn't even notice you. Uh, Bas- Bassin, you're you're up next. Okay, I'll uh, use my throwing spear and chuck it at her. Okay. Uh, yeah, I fail. Uh, yeah, you um, you you throw it. Um, mm-hmm. You thought that it was going to aim right for uh, this uh, uh, this phantom, the, the lady, and it kind of veers off to the to the right a little bit and just barely misses uh, misses her. Uh, her her, uh, her body um at this point she's got uh, her it's her initiative uh let me see i'm going to roll a one awesome uh so she sees that you tried to throw something mm-hmm. at her um and she lunges at you with great speed and force uh and uh yeah you're going to take 2d6 worth of bludgeoning damage and oh. then be hurled d6 meters backwards and land prone. Listen, lady, that's my gimmick. Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> you take nine damage of a nine uh, bludgeoning damage. Holy which okay. I think you've got some armor on you as it is. Yeah, right? I I've, I uh, reduce that by two. So you're going to take seven points, and you are now thrown back. Uh, what what did I say? D oh d6. You are thrown back one meter. And uh, you're now on the ground. No problem. Okay. Uh, McCandor, what would you like to do? Um, I am going to... I am just going to run up and take a nice big overhanded swing. All right. With my battle axe. Do it. That is a success. Uh, you definitely, you you run up, you see Bastion get flown back, uh, which just kind of uh, makes you want to just defend him even more. And so you take your battle axe, you reach up over your head with this with two hands, and you swing as hard as you can. It's probably one of the hardest swings that you've ever made. And the battle axe, I'm not even going to have it roll damage because the battle axe goes... <sighs> Swings and goes straight through her. This no. phantom, uh, she's a shimmering ghost. blue phantom, and she's you, a ghost. You can't, you can't hit her with an axe. She's a ghost. You, you anticipate it hitting something, and it kind of, as you swing through it, and it doesn't hit anything. You kind of like almost spin around. You have to stop yourself from almost like pirouetting as you're doing this, uh, <laughs> this axe swing. Um, but yeah, you. You stop as like mid swing as you're coming back around, and you realize that oh no, I just got up in this phantom's grill, and uh, I've now left myself pretty vulnerable. Oh, per- perfect, awesome. Uh, yeah. So, do we want to roll a d10 again? Sure. All right, let's do it. <sighs> <laughs> you rolled a one, all right. Yeah. You rolled a two, uh, Aodin. Yep, I, I got, got a, a ten. Six. You got a ten, all right. You, you. Uh, and uh, Bassin, what did you roll? Six, six. All right. Uh, looks like uh, Chrisana gets to go first. Oh boy. Um, if I get to this door, mm-hmm. I'm gonna continue to try to get to this door, but it's it's locked right now. Yeah, it is locked. Okay, and we maybe have a key to it, but we don't actually know that. Maybe. Possibly. All right. I'm going to try to pick the lock. I do have lock picking okay. stuff. Ooh. Sure. I have I have lock picks. Um, okay. I don't know what role 
goes to lock picks. It's just listed um, in my inventory, so I'm not I sure what that. I would say probably maybe sleight of hand. That makes sense. I'm I'm good with that. So I'm gonna try to open this door. Okay. I do not open this door. Okay. In yeah, fact, you, she locks it even more. You you try to get your lock picking <laughs> tools out there, and you're you're uh, you know while while she's distracted, uh, she's kind of uh, uh, in in all of a sudden you realize that no, I'm not. This is such an old <laughs> rusty lock that this is <laughs> there's isn't nothing happening. to kind of uh, grab I'm a just, hold onto. I'm just stabbing at the door. I'm just stabbing at the lock with my little picks. Like, sure. This isn't doing it. Um. So she then uh, it's because I rolled a two. Oh, um oh, 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 oh. McCander is is standing there right right in front of her as t- after he just barely just swung across the tried to swing with his battle axe. Uh she reaches out and she like takes her hand and you can see it reach out and kind of go through McCander's chest. That's not okay. And it, oh. wait, maybe she can't hit us either. Uh, and you can tell that she just kind of looks intently at her hand. And as you, McKendra, as you're standing there and you see this happen for that split second, all of a sudden you feel your chest get really tight and your heart kind of start to hurt. Oh, no. No, and you your gasp, that. you start to gasp for air, and your chest gets really. You could feel pains coming through your 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 shoulders, and um, yeah, you are going to um, take D twelve worth of damage. Whoa, okay, uh, which is only three 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 points of damage, uh, three hit okay. points. But okay. you become exhausted. All right. All right. All right, so all of your agility rolls are now going to have a bane with them. Um, and then that's her. Uh, that's her turn. Um, and I think who had the next? I had the next uh, one. Okay. Um, I am going to uh, take my staff in my hand, and I'm going to... Uh, swirl it in front of me and as it starts to swirl this little flame appears on the end of it nice. and i'm going to thrust it towards her and cast a fireball at her awesome since uh mccander is staggered back a bit yeah um so that is going to take two more of my willpower points and uh, i gotta roll my sorcery i rolled, I rolled a one what's that do oh so what is the damage rating of this? Uh, uh, it's normally 1d6. It's just 1d6? Yeah, unless I... Well, I only used it at uh, the basic level of do you have power. Do you have any kind of damage bonus for um, your... No, you don't have any damage bonus. No, not normally, okay. no. Not for magic. So no. your... Uh, it's it's going to be 2d6 in this case. Sounds good. Let's see what happens. Roll high. Uh, 11. Awesome. Yeah, you just send out this enormous fireball. This is much, probably one of the best fireballs that you've ever cast uh, in, in <laughs> since you've had this. For two willpower points, arm. I'm betting so, yes. Yeah, <laughs> and it just, it just, you can see it goes, like, it hits this translucent blue shimmering phantom, and for a moment, she just kind of screeches and uh, kind of stuns her as this fire kind of oh. env- envelops her for a few moments, and then it kind of lights up really bright and then as she's screaming and then it kind of flickers down and, and uh, yeah, you can definitely tell it. This it did uh, uh, 11 points of damage to her. Cool. All okay. right. That's my turn. Um, uh, I know I only get one action per round. Yep. Um, would throwing the keys to Chrisanna call uh, uh, koala, uh, that words qualify yeah, like a bear, uh, <laughs> as an action or no? Um, How mean do I want to be here? Ah! Is, is, uh, um, that is a great question. How evil do I feel this evening? I think you should roll for that, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> so, Christina's already gone. You've already gone. Yeah. I'm going to say that no, you can't do that this round. Okay. No worries. All right. Uh, and that would take us to Baston, I believe. 
All right. Bass on, what would you like to do? She's distracted at the moment. Yeah. If anything, she's got her eyes set on Adon. Um, and remember, you are you are on the ground. I am. So you're going to probably have to get, use your your uh, your turn to get up off the ground. Maybe. Okay. I, I might want to take this turn to uh, actually observe the room. Is there okay. anything that um, might be helpful? A sigil, a... Yeah, you see. Okay, yeah. Let's. Let, I'll, I'll let you. I'll as you're laying on the ground, and you see that that things are. Yes, let's say that you see there are torches that are burning uh, along the walls, and they have like a mat. They, they don't burn with like a normal fire. You can definitely tell every once in a while they either turn blue and they have like some sort of like spark. You can tell that there's some sort of magical fire. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so yeah. So that'll so, be my so, turn so, then. so you know that. Okay. Uh, McCann, what would you like to do uh, now that you've uh, kind of stumbled back a little bit from from getting this uh, heart attack from the from the, uh, the this phantom? Um, probably continue to get away. Okay. <laughs> you want you want to back up? Get the heck away from this crazy lady. <laughs> Do you want yeah. to um, go over towards Bastion? Do you want to go off off by yourself? <laughs> where, might where be would you smart. Like... <laughs> go stand in the hallway. <laughs> I know. Um, I will go over towards Bastion. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So you go back over towards. You back up a little bit further. You kind of kneel down, probably towards Bastion. Uh, kind of like maybe help him up a little halfway. Um, uh, Bastion, if if at this point, if you would like to share the knowledge that, that of your observation with yeah, the McCander, you're I will. welcome to. Um, it's yeah, totally if up he, to you. If he helps me up, totally. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that uh, that is that. Now let's all roll a d10 again. Yay! 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 I don't think you're doing that right. This is. I'm not oh. feeling the yay. <laughs> I got a 10 again. You got a 10? Okay. Uh, I got you a two, 2 as well. Neener, neener. <laughs> I got a uh, nine. You got a nine? Okay. So I will let Chrisana go first. Yay. Uh, a Aodin go second. I'll go third. And then uh, you said McCander, you got a nine? Oh, who got a nine? I did. Okay. So Baston, Baston and then McCander. Okay. Yep. So we'll go Chrisana, Aodin, me, Baston, and then McCander. Who has the keys? Uh, no. Aodin does. That's why I was thinking of trying to throw them to you, but... I don't know if it's worth an action <laughs> to do If you so. would like, if you would like, I will let you change your yeah. initiative roles. Yeah. Since you have both matching yeah. initiative roles, I will let you I, I swap those if keys. you would like. I want you okay. to give me the So keys. we're going to swap then? So if yeah. you would like to go first, Aodin, I will let you go first, and then Chrisanna will go number two. Okay. I will toss the keys towards Chrisanna. I will ignore what Doug said and catch the keys, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> yes, that is that is exactly. Uh, Aodin throws the keys. Chrisanna catches them. Boom. Both their their uh, their turns are done. Now it's my turn. Oh, no. <laughs> and now we all die. Yay. <laughs> Rocks fall. Everyone dies. Okay. So as you throw these keys over to Chrisanna, the lady, the translucent phantom lady, watches this happen, looks over at Chrisanna, watches her catch the keys, kind of knows what's going on here. <laughs> and she looks down and stares with her dead eyes straight into Chrisanna's soul. Oh. Chrisanna then sees her. Her entire life flashed before her eyes and is reminded of dead friends and foes oh. in a very grotesque vision. Oh no, I don't the like that. You become scared. So do you have, are you scared already? No, you don't have that. No, I was, I was dirty. Right. And I so guess now, now you I'm have scared the scared uh, condition. 
and suffers a uh, fear attack with a bane on the willpower roll. So you need to roll a uh, uh, a bane on a willpower roll. Two d twenty, and you have to take the lowest. Yeah, is that how it works? I don't know. Yeah. What am I trying to What am I trying to beat? Willpower. You're trying to beat your whatever willpower, my current yeah. willpower is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I managed to succeed that. Okay. Ah nice. Ah. Very good. You can't scare um, me. Only a little. I'm a little awesome. scared. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. So you just have this. You see, now you just have that one condition, which is your uh, your scared condition. Awesome. Uh, Bastion, you are. Uh, it's, it is now your turn. Yeah, so I, I will say that since McCandor helped you is is there to help you up, I will let you get up the rest of the way and, and make an action. As okay. Well. Um. Yeah, I tell McCandor the plan. You know, just go for the torches and and put them out. There's something weird about them. Uh. So I will go for the closest torch and try to put it out. Okay. Uh. Yeah. You run over, and um. You, before you even pick that up out of, as you pick it up out of its its slot, it all of a sudden just goes out all by itself. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I hope McKinder saw me do that. <laughs> so as soon as he gets it out of the, whatever, the bracket, it goes yes. out? It goes out. Okay. All by itself. All right. Sweet. And that's my turn. Uh, McCandor, what would you like to do? I will rush towards the nearest torch and unsconce it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's a good way to say it. Unsconce. <laughs> so that also creates this one to go out. Um, do you still have your torch? Who who still do you still have your torches lit? Is that uh... <laughs> yes. keep in mind if yes. you guys yeah. take all the torches out, we're not gonna be able to see. <laughs> uh yeah, you uh the the room in is now totally dark except for the fact that you have your your two torches. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, everybody roll a D10 again. At my special ability. Man. Nice. Eight. Okay. Eight. Okay. Seven from Amanda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, and a, you six, get? a six for me. All right. Oh, wow, and you get to go first. Wow. Oh, woohoo. Um, okay. Uh, my only real attack here that's had any effect is fireball. So I'm going to wind up again and try a fireball. All right. Uh, See if I can do that. Ah, oh, I missed it by one. I got a two this time. Would you like oh, to no. push that? Would you like to push that roll? And take a condition. If I push it, what's the result? You get to roll that D20 again, but you take a condition, which gives you Oh no, no. The likelihood of me rolling a one on that is non existent pretty much. So I'll i I'll stick I'll, I'll stick with the, the regular. I'm I'm gonna cast it with uh an extra willpower though, so it's gonna be two day six for damage. Oh, okay. Uh, so seven miss? damage this time. Okay. Oh, I still, it still succeeds. I rolled a two. Oh, 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 oh I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, yeah. So you can see, uh, you know, the lights kind of went out because of McCander and Bastion kind of, you know, <laughs> lowered, the, lowered the lights a little bit. And I said, let there be light. The mood. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you see, and at that moment, as the lights went down, you just fired another f fireball and hit... Uh, the uh, this phantom and again she shrieks and kind of lights up with fire and the blue just, uh, the yellow I would and the like blue it if flame. she just died of fire that would be ideal kind of you know <laughs> it just kind of envelops her and, and she shrieks and and uh, yeah you do uh, seven points of damage nice just I'm not just like please die please die please die <laughs> uh, you can again. definitely tell that she's getting a little bit less active as uh, than than she was so. uh, I'll take it. Um, who had the, I think Chris Santa had the next roll. I had a seven. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, now that I have the keys, can I open the door? 
Uh, try to open the door? You can, absolutely. You uh, reach over and unlock the door and uh, open it up uh, a little bit, but uh, you have not uh, not gone through it yet. Okay. All right. Uh, who had an eight? I did. All right. Which which one of you would like to go first? Go ahead, McCander. Um, so the magical torches went out. Correct. Uh, I might... Uh, I'm going to charge with, with my torch and try to basically like thrust my torch right into uh, okay. like her head. Her, 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 her head? head? Sure, sure. Um, her, yeah, give me right, a yeah, uh, give me a roll for that. I'm trying to see if what uh, what I can give you for. Uh, give me a. We'll say it's a blunt weapon. Why don't we say it's a blunt weapon? Why not? We'll make it fun for you. Okay. Because that's you've got a pretty right. Is that, oh, that's Bastion. Never mind. No, never mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, you've got a good. Uh, yeah. So give me a uh, a blunt weapon roll. Uh, I got a twenty. Oh, okay. So yeah, you run. <laughs> you start charging with your uh, with your torch and. Um, you notice that uh, you the floor is very slippery, and of course you've got those webbed feet again, which we know is a problem from oh, earlier no. in this episode. And oh, no. you slip and fall, and you uh, drop the torch. And as you fall, the torch drops on top of you, setting your uh, uh, some of your your apparel on fire. I mean, you do have plate metal, so it's not quite that bad, but it definitely uh, yeah heats up your plate metal and does. Two points of damage to you. Oh. All right. Uh, right. Bastion, what would you like right. to do? Wasn't there a total of four torches, or was there only the two? Just those two. Just those two. Okay. <sighs> do you have a torch? I do have a torch. Nice. You know what? I see McCander go for it and and fail. I'll back him up, and I will go in with my torch and try to thwap it. All right. I will also give you a, a blunt weapons roll for that. All right, blunt weapon. Yeah, good. All right, that succeeds. Okay. So I will say that that gives you a D6 worth of damage, and then you also have a damage a bonus of D6 as well. So roll two D6 for me. You got it. Roll pretty high if you can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just a suggestion. <laughs> it's got to be... Okay, so a total of five. Okay. Yeah, you uh, you thrust this, uh, this torch right... Uh, in the same, uh, in, the, in like her chest area. And yeah, you notice it again, it just kind of envelops and, and turns like this blue, like flame. And uh, it turn, it can, she screams even more, uh, screams louder again. And uh, you can definitely tell that she's definitely her, her, her ghostly uh, form is kind of fading just so slightly. Um, now, Oh, that's cocked. Uh, she's enveloped in this in this fire, and she looks straight at you as you're up there holding this torch to her chest. How far away is? I would say that that Chrisanna is also close by, mm -hmm. and Aodin is also fairly close by. Okay. So as she sees Bastion thrust this torch into her chest and cause her some pain, her face twists into this hideous grimace, and she just lets out this horrific shriek that chills the three of your souls. Oh, all I don't of want you, a, ch a chilled soul. 
all of you must roll against uh it must do a uh roll against willpower let me know if you do not uh, succeed uh. <laughs> um oh i succeeded okay willpower okay if i fail this i'll be okay i got a, i got I, I, easy peasy i have 19 yes. willpower so <laughs> I pass. So you, you all pass. Yeah. Uh -huh. Excellent. Uh, yeah. For a few, for a few, like a strict for a, a split second, um, you're you're just kind of terrified. But then you realize that hey, guess what? We've done quite a bit of damage to this. We can probably, you know, he's panicking. Straight. We've almost got her. We, that might, might be my have. confidence boost. Hmm. Uh, so yeah. So now uh, everybody roll a d10 again. Big bucks, no Emmys. Oh, okay. I jinxed myself. I got a nine. Okay. Five. Okay. Dos. All right. Um, John, uh, Bastin, please roll a uh, a D two for me. Dos. All right. I get to go first. So in this case, uh, Bastion, you're, mm -hmm. uh, after having that uh, screech just echo through this chamber, she again reaches forward and grabs towards the middle of your chest. And the same thing that happened to Mechander also happens to you. You feel your chest tighten. You feel your heart <sighs> all of a sudden stop. And everything gets really, really cold. Um, and you take... Six points of damage. Wonderful. Thank you. And you become exhausted. Tired, but still alive. Still All right. Alive. Uh, Bastion, you, you're, you're up next. Yeah, I'm going to thwap her with the... With the torch? Torch, since I'm right there. All right. Yeah, give me another... Uh, Bludgeoning, blunt weapons roll. All right, blunt weapons roll. And now, does the exhaustion affect this roll? Uh, it is an agility roll, so it's no, it strength. does not. Unless, unless you're dazed, so no. Okay. Yeah, that's a success. All right, so yeah, give me a two two d six. You got it. Let's roll two reds this time. Ooh, yeah, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Yeah, you, you, uh, again, you thrust this, uh, this torch right into her, shrieks, and all of a sudden, her blue glowing visit, you know, this blue glowing phantom just evaporates. And uh, with it, um, it, a large sword set with jewels. Drops to the ground. Oh. Um, it is a magnificent, a magnificent bastard sword. Ooh. Um, Sweet. And it just kind of clangs to the ground and, and and falls. Was she holding it, or just did it just fell out of her, or what? She was holding it. Hmm. Oh. Glad she never swung it. <laughs> okay. Ah. Right. Uh, all right, uh, who here is near death like I was on the spikes a little while ago? Well, uh, don't everybody I, raise your hands at once. I'm, I'm, <laughs> down, I'm down five. I'm, I'm still at 11. Okay. I've taken 13 points da of damage total. Oh, also, also, I should also mention oh. that oh. The, the, the gilded chainmail that she was wearing uh, also falls to the ground. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm going to look beautiful. <laughs> And Just gorgeous. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what uh, that's what you. Okay. What you um, um. So, well, hey, um, Bastion, you you pick these items up, or are you yes. going to? All right. No. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you pick them up or no? Yes, I know. I'm not sharing. <laughs> okay. So, the the sword is named the Fiend Carver. Cool. The Fiend Carver. All right. It does 
2d8 worth of damage. Whoa! You have to have a strength requirement of 13 in order to wear to yield it. Yep. It is one-handed. on that. It is one, we, it is one-handed. It has a durability nice. rating of 15, and it has slashing and piercing. Nice. Nice. The chainmail that you have is golden. It's a gilded chainmail. It's light and flexible. It has an armor rating of four, and it gives a Ooh. bane to sneaking rolls. Okay. So you can't sneak so, while you're, well, you're poor at sneaking. Later. I don't know if anybody doesn't have any. Like, you have uh, studded leather, which, you know, gives yeah. an armor rating of two, so I don't know if you want to share Can't, or... It... Do, who doesn't have armor? I think the only one is I don't have on, any right? armor. I don't, also uh, don't know that I can wear armor as a mage in this game. Right? I'm going to say you can. We'll, 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 we'll rule it so that you, if you want okay. to I change will, out. <laughs> I will hastily slap that on me. <laughs> yeah. that, that gives you a an armor rating of one. Of one? Okay, cool. Yeah. Sounds good. I accept your generous offer. Well, I'm not really sure if it's terribly generous. It's just a cast off, but I'm calling it generous because it might save my butt. <laughs> so now you've got this wolf guy with gilded one of these crowns a gilded chain mail this big beautiful <laughs> honking sword uh, anyone driver. want anyone want the spear anyone want a spear uh, i no? would not know what nope. to do with it i'm okay. good you can have it uh okay awesome. all right let's uh, so I, i'm looking good i got some rings on my paws <sighs> well before you start looking good i'm going to attempt to heal him <laughs> okay uh I got a two on a 14, so I don't know how many or what that does for healing, but. Uh, yeah, you heal him. Uh, you do. Are you guys going to stay there for, are you all going to stay there for like a, a, like a 15, like a longer stretch of time? To kind I, I want to open this door. <laughs> it's up to you it's all. A... What, what well, you want to do. I'm administering healing to Baston. You can do I'm as going... you like. I'm going through this door that I opened. I spent okay. this entire Wait, fight when, when trying did, to get this door open. It? In the last turn, it while we I were actually fighting, yeah. unlocked it. But I oh, I am proud yet. of your restraint and not throwing it open. Okay. Well, I, I couldn't go through yet. So, so uh, since Chrisana wants to go through and not give you guys time to rest, no, I'm going to say go. that you have to roll a d6. Um, and actually, no, you, you each can roll a, roll 2d6, and that's what's going to heal uh, Bastogne. Oh, roll 2d6, okay. Yeah. Uh, seven. All right. So that ooh, heals uh, Bastion on seven. What, what's that? <clears throat> I said, ooh, not bad. Uh, who else has damage that they would want to uh, heal up real quick? I'm actually good at the moment. I think Bastion okay. took the brunt of it. McCander took McCander, did you take any uh, damage? Yeah, I, I'm down by five. I'll try it. Okay, roll a d6. Three. Okay. Yeah, you roll. You heal three damage, and that gives you. Uh, all the had you, you know, waited a little bit longer, you probably could have healed up a little bit more, and probably could have healed up all the way. But Christina really wants to get into this <laughs> this chamber. <Yeah. laughs> She's like watching us wrap bandages around people, just slowly okay, pushing okay. the come door on, open. So <laughs> Chris, Chris right. opens the door, and inside is, is... In the middle of this burial chamber, which is uh, is it's it's, it's a burial chamber with torches on the walls, and it st uh, stands a podium with an ornate sarcophagus of stone. The floor, ceiling, and walls are all made of stone bricks. A painting of a ridden dragon can be seen on the far wall. Cool. Does it look like the one in my vision? Uh, oh, yeah. Good, yes. good question. It does. Yes, it does. Oh. I will relay that. Uh, this is... This is what I saw. So my uh, theory is correct. Then you were seeing some sort of mental image, and you can tell from the uh, from the mural uh, or the painting that the writer on it is also the same writer that you saw in your vision. Interesting. Um, would anybody like to look at anything else? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll sniff around. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me a uh, a learning roll. 
Should also maybe have Chrisana. Ooh, that's a one. Oh, hello. Awesome. Uh, yeah, you can see that there's there's wordings and there's ancient runes engraved on the on the wall behind the or by the uh, by this mural. Um, it says that uh, you can't really kind of read it fluently, but you can make out a couple of the words just from previous you know lessons that maybe you've learned or pre previous runes that you've you've encountered along your your adventures. Um, one of them says something about the emperor's gift, and one of them says holy wrath uh that uh and it says something about the wrath will consume all who dare touch said gift okay cool um so maybe we don't touch anything in this room but what if the <laughs> thing in this room that it's telling us not to touch is the exact thing we came here for i say we ignore this <laughs> As They're just uh, guidelines. It's fine. <laughs> Empty <Everything's> fine. threats. <gasps> Empty threats. Okay. Well, um, as, perhaps. Okay. As you are looking at this uh, mural, um, you hear footsteps from the room from which you came, and some more some scraping noises, and the rattling of chainmail, and a huge warrior in antiquated plate mail and a great horned helm uh, comes around into the door frame from which you just entered this this uh, burial chamber. And so it's come in this room behind us. Exactly. And it opens up. I don't like it, this. As, as it comes around and it comes into view, it lifts his, his visor up from his from his helmet, and it shows this grim skeleton face underneath with empty eye sockets. And as it walks closer towards you, you can just hear this scraping metal sound. Uh, maybe and he just wants to come and lay back down. He's tired, you know? He's been walking around now, all day. We all... Well, initiative again. Yeah, oh, Jesus. And this is how we died. Oh, I got a one, though. I'll go first. Nice. Yeah, boy. Five. Awesome. Four. Okay. Three. Okay. Uh, looks like you all go first, uh, and then I go in the end. So. What uh, what would you like to do? Who goes first? I forget. To, uh, you go first, eh, first. Aoden. Yep. Uh, okay, so where are we all in the room? Um, I'm assuming... Who was it that learned about the mural? Was that Baston? So, yeah, you're you're on the other side of this. You're on the the, uh, the northern side of this sarcophagus because the mural is on that wall. Like it, okay. the, As you walk in, that's what you see uh, in so the back. So and the death knight is basically in the doorway. He's in the doorway. He just walked around and came into frame. And yeah, now he sees you're basically in his quarters. Oh, man, this plan isn't going to work. Because of that. Okay. Mm. Um, Primanese. Uh, I'm going to use pillar on the, on the square immediately in front of the door. Uh, the entry so there's like the doorway and then there's that one square and then there's the sarcophagus and mm -hmm. then there's us on the other side okay. i'm going to use pillar on the square in front of the open doorway not in the doorway itself but on okay. the square in front of it mm -hmm. and just go and just do the same thing i did before 10 foot tall three uh three and a half feet wide uh just blocking the doorway trying to keep him out of the room okay uh yeah go ahead and uh i'll make that. my roll yeah I got a one. Awesome. Yeah, it goes right up and uh, blocks him right off uh, temporarily. And uh, that's all yeah. I wanted. I just wanted you, to round uh, You know that that uh, you can probably go through this this around fairly safely without uh, without uh, any repercussions at this point. So it kind of gives you an extra round to plan yeah, that's, and yeah. That's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> just a round of plan. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Okay, I'm done. That's my round. Sorry. <laughs> Getting excited. Knock my microphone. 
Who would like to go next? I have rolled a three. Also, since that was such a great roll, I will say that no matter what I roll next round, I will go last. Oh, cool. Thank okay. you. That makes sense. Um, okay. So I will go ahead and I want to look for more clues, like in the sarcophagus, maybe. Okay. Um, okay. Why don't you roll me a... Roll me a... What's the... Uh, spot hidden roll. Okay. Oh, that's a 20. Oh. Um, yeah, you kind of... Oh, that's not good. Uh, you... <laughs> would you... Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. You, you're, you're looking around the room and... Um, you realize that there's a statuette, uh, part of the sarcophagus, and it seems to be connected to a mechanism. So you grab this uh, statuette, and all of a sudden, um, 20 blades shoot out from the sarcophagus in all directions. Oh, and oh. everybody now needs to give me a mobility roll. In all oh. directions? Yes. Uh, all basically, directions. he triggered a trap that uh, that creates spikes to go all over the place. Okay. Oh, crap. You, uh, uh, Chrisanna sur survives this and dodges out of the way of these spikes. Uh, McCanner also, uh, you know, evades these spikes. My mobility. My mobility. Uh, nope. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Would you like to push that roll? Uh, sure. And take a Why condition. not? I don't. Okay. I don't. I'll take a condition, uh, and I get to just re-roll the d twenty. You get to re-roll re the d twenty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> not good. Uh, I'll take. Um, I'll take. Scared. Okay. So all your willpowers are now at uh, a bane. Oh no! Ah. Uh, I'll take dazed. Sorry, um, dazed? that would be ridiculous. I'm a spellcaster. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Dazed. You. You kind of. Uh, you, you. kind of. One of them uh, probably may, maybe knocks you on the head as it wings past okay. and kind of not. You know, kind of get, knocks your head. Did you succeed on the second roll? Oh Lord, no. Okay. <laughs> I rolled even worse. Um, you take six points of piercing damage. And my armor drops that by one. By one, yes. Oh, okay, no, it so, does not because it's piercing damage. Oh, sorry. Okay, so six points. All right, so I got yeah. five left. All right. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Why do people keep getting me perforated? Um, I didn't mean to. All right. I just uh, tripped. McCander, uh, what uh, what would you like to do? Uh, is the wall still up? Oh, yes. Oh, yes it's yeah, it's permanent up. until he breaks it. Oh. Um. Which I suspect won't take him very long. <laughs> if I'm being yeah, honest. I, I, it's just gonna, Earth, so <laughs> right. I'm going to position myself right in front of the wall. And are, are, are there reactions in this? Um, I will let you, if you want to. I think that you can um, change your initiative to whatever. Pretty much to whatever. If you don't want to take a turn this this turn and choose your position, your your initiative order next turn, you can. I'll let you. I'll allow that. I don't think that that's. I don't know if that's quite the rule. I can't remember. I can't remember off the top of my head. But um, on the fly, we're just gonna kind of. If, if that's what you're trying to do, if you're trying to like. Yeah, I, I basically just want to put myself between this guy and the rest of the party. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You're going to uh, you're going to kind of stand in between there. We'll, we'll say yeah. that that's fine. You, you you put your, you know, you, you're going to be the first person he sees when he comes through. Yep, exactly. Awesome. Uh, everybody roll a d10. I'm going to spend a willpower to keep my initiative the same. So it will be oh, a three. It'll be a three. Okay. Um, all the while, you're, you you do hear uh, the, uh, the knight kind of uh, 
bashing bashing this this pillar and you can see it kind of heave uh, a little bit as it goes and each time it bashes a little bit more it heaves a little bit more and more um yeah go ahead uh, who who uh, did anybody beat a three for initiative no nope no all right Bastion, you're up okay um I will try not to trip any more traps, but there's got to be something in this room to turn this guy off. Um, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm... Why don't you give me a learning roll? Okay. Ooh, that might be good. Learning. Learn is good. Yes, that's a success. Okay. Uh, inside the sarcophagus, you find uh, another gilded crown. But as you reach down and pick up the the crown, um, I swear you can to God, Bastin, kind of feel <laughs> that's what we're here for. You can kind of feel that this crown is much more special than the crown that you have on now, or the whatever you I forget what you have on that uh, you put on your head. Um, yeah, but it definitely makes you feel. Uh, more emboldened for the time being. Okay. Okay. Are you going to put it on? Uh, yeah, it's bigger and shinier, and okay. it feels good. So yes. Uh, of yeah. Of course, yes. yes. You, you, on the crown, you can see uh, little uh, demon uh, figures. Hmm. Yeah, and but at the front, at the front of the... He mentions this after he puts it on. At the front of the crown, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And at the front of the crown is like this bigger demon, and these little smaller demons are all like kind of crowded around it. It's a demon party. Yeah. It's a demon party. I like it. Put your demon party hat on. I'm sure I'm that's feeling fine. good. Don't yeah, worry. What could possibly I, go wrong? I got it's, this. I got. I got the shiny chain mail. I got the pointy crown. The big sword. I'm good. Yeah. yeah you're good. You're fine. Everything's um, fine. Yeah. Uh, so that was uh, that was Bastion's turn. Who has the next? Uh... I got a nine, so probably not me. <laughs> not you. Chrisanna, are you next? Yeah, I've got an eight. What, okay. Does that, anybody what have something Ma lower than Mechanna? eight? McCander, do you have uh, higher than an eight? Um, no, I actually had a five. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you go there next. You go. You're good. Um, he's still not through the wall. He's not. You can definitely tell that it's coming down, though. It's only going to take a few more strikes or more, a few more pushes before it uh, topples down. Yeah, I'll just brace. I'll kind of set my foot so that when this thing comes through, I have a okay. nice, strong posture. I'll, I'll say I'll, I'll give you uh, the choice to kind of uh, choose your your initiative position next round. Okay. Since you're kind of preparing. Um, yeah. Okay. And uh, Chrisanna, have you gone? Are you you're no, next? I'm, She's next. I, I guess so, yeah. I guess I would be next. All right, so... Baston put on the crown, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, he did. All right, so that, I thought so. So that's the thing that we came here for. So I so, uh, would like to try to find a way out now. Okay. Is it just the one entrance and exit that's currently blocked by the giant pillar? As far as you can tell, that's all that's in there. That's okay. the only entrance uh, or exit. <laughs> I'm going to remind Aiden, who is maintaining that spell i guess like uh we need to leave we can't block our only way out of here i'm sorry i didn't really want to die at the hands of that thing do you think it's gonna go away if we just wait no but we have a moment to be ready i mean look at mcander he's ready to hack the thing's head off as soon as it steps through the door okay Sounds good. I'll get ready too with my knives, I guess. So as as you're talking, you can hear the uh, the Death Knight just kind of keep kind of pushing. You can see this uh, pillar rocking back and forth, and uh, it just keeps it keeps getting loose. You know, it, it keeps that pendulum pendulum motion a little bit more and more as so it's it's, uh, it's rocking back and forth now. 
Yeah, we'll say that you know he's trying to topple it over. Okay, so uh, now it's my turn, right? Absolutely. Okay, I am going to use four willpower points to cast Gust of Wind on it okay. while it's rocking towards him. All right. Ooh, so that yeah. I can push the pillar into him and try to drive him back into the room so that maybe we can get out of this death trap okay. and uh, into the major, into the bigger room so we have room to move. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, and okay, it goes off. Okay. Um, so that's gonna do. It's gonna push him back. Um, so it pushes the, it pushes that uh, pillar back along with him. Yeah. Uh, let me just. I want to check the wording on it. I, I'm. And it's sure. gonna. It'll fall on him. I'm gonna say. Okay. Uh, blah blah blah. Uh, small. Okay, so it's not a small object. Any untethered creature. Blah blah blah. So it pushes everything back. D three meters away from me per power level. So two D three meters, uh, everything moves away from okay. me. And then they suffer that in damage as well. So it run it pushes it back uh three uh, three meters. Um and it lands on top of him. I'm actually gonna give you a bonus. I'm gonna say it does three D six okay. damage because cool. it's a large pillar. Nice. Um, That's because I got a bonus on that too. <laughs> right. So three boy, I'm burning through six, willpower points, folks. <laughs> eight. So it normally it would do eight points of damage. Okay. In this case it only does four. Ah. Oh, wow. Okay. Fair enough. It's only dirt. <laughs> All right. Uh that's it for me. So now um, we're now mechanic. Now it's my, to, now, but, now it's my turn. You, you did go. You pushed. Yeah, you pushed. I will. I will push the uh, the remaining pillar off of me. Okay. Um, and uh, I'll have to use my next um, round to get up and uh, attack. Cool. All right. Uh, so everybody, uh, roll Excellent. a d ten. Okay. Uh, I got a four. Ooh. Three. Man, it's got a five. Okay. Three, five. Josh. Four. Four. All right. So. Looks like uh, I'm going to go last. It looks like McCander can go first if he would like. I did give you the choice to to uh, choose your initiative in this round if you wanted to. Right. Um, are we trying to escape or are we trying to fight? Let's Scooby-Doo it out of here. Yeah, we, we need to go. Right. Okay. I'm all in the fleeing. Yeah, I will start running. Okay, so you're going to run back into that room that he's he fell into, uh, that that uh, you know the room that uh, the uh, you know the, the phantom lady was in, and uh, yes. we'll say that uh, you know you come back out and you're kind of in between where the chair was and where the uh, the entrance where you came in, and uh, you're kind of like almost next to where the knight. Uh, the death knight because the death knight probably fell back onto that table and uh, had that pillar on top of him and uh, you're kind of like close to him but you're almost you're going towards that exit that uh, you came into uh okay. who had who had the next initiative yeah who had, had four uh, you have four i th um, think i had a six so I'm you had a six five. okay so it's going to be bastion and then uh Chrisanna, and then me, and then Aoden. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm I'm feeling the power of this this crown, right? Uh, you feel Man. you feel emboldened. Let's just say that. Okay. I'm gonna walk over the rubble. Yeah. Over to the the uh, fallen knight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm going to put a foot right on his chest and take the uh, beam cutter and plunge it right down into okay. the center of his chest. All right. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's let's see what. Uh, yeah. Give me uh, give me a uh, blunt weapons or what is that? Uh, that would be. Yeah, I guess that would blunt be slashing, pi slashing, piercing. Yeah, it would be a sword. It's a sword. Yeah, sword it's, a, it's an yeah. sword. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I do good with those. those so give guys. me a sword roll. All right, that's a success. 
Uh, so yeah, give me uh, your uh, what? What did I say that the damage did 2D8. for that? Two D eight plus you do a uh, bonus of a D six, so two D eight plus D six. Big bucks, no whammies. Yes. All right, you're gonna jinx me now. Yeah, that was the whole point. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So wow. 19. Of damage. Okay, so yep. uh, he takes uh, he takes nine damage, and he has an armor rating of six. So he actually Whoa. only takes three damage total. Wow. wow. That's some plate mail armor. That's what that does. Wow. Okay. All right. So that's Baston done. So that's Baston. So, Chrisanna, what would you like to do? Run away. I was going to say, from the look on Chrisanna's face right now, running away is run her plan. I want to run away. <laughs> you want to run uh, kind of where McCander, McCander is? Yeah, I want to get as, as, as much past this guy as possible. You can dash with your action if you want to to move double your movement. Sure, that sounds okay. great. Yeah, we'll say we'll say that uh, you actually get out into this uh, kind of where this entrance is right here. I totally didn't look that up the because I wanted to run away. Right. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, you're into that. You just I'm barely into that hallway a little bit. Okay. Um, yes. So now it's my turn. Um, I am going to uh, get up, and then I am going to. Can't do anything but get up. You're right. Well, you're right on top of me. I am. So. And McCander's right next to me. Mm -hmm. He is. Aodin, you're still in the room. I'm still in the room with sar the, sarcophagus. The sarcophagus yeah. All right. So this is going to affect Baston and McCander. So as I'm laying on the ground and I'm trying to kind of get up a little bit, um, I unleash this unholy roar from my Ooh. skull. And Chrisanna okay. is providing a visual aid. My sure. decayed skull twists and lets out this in inhumanely horrific scream that cr cuts like a rusty blade through the through both of your souls. Rusty blade? Okay. Everyone within 10 meters must roll a willpower to resist fear. So roll a willpower, please. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Oh, that's a 20. <gasps> that's not oh, good. That's just the opposite barely of good. Succeeds. You succeeded, Bastin? Yeah. All right. Since you had that crown on, Mm -hmm. You just feel <laughs> like okay, give it like bring bring out bring your it. worst uh, Extra death knight. Confidence. Whereas McCanner, since he's not wearing that, <laughs> um, you feel this intense fear, and it just leaves you out of breath, like immediately, and you take an exa the exhausted condition. Do you already have that one though? I do. You do? Okay, so you're going to take another condition of your choice. Uh, I'll say stays. Uh, sickly. Sickly? Yeah. So you heard this roar, and it just gave you, like, this sickly feeling in your stomach of fear. And, like, all of a sudden, you just feel like you're going to, like, vomit and, and throw up. And, and you just don't feel good about it. The, you know your your insides at this moment. What's to feel good about okay. right now, honestly? <laughs> All right. Um, did everybody else go? I can't remember. Did uh, no? I am after the. Uh, oh, you're after. Okay. Um, if I leave the room of the sarcophagus, can I move past him without encountering him? Because I know, like in in this game, you can't move past a, an opponent that's standing. Yeah, he's not standing. He's still. He's okay. still down. Um, he just I'm gonna, let out this un, unholy roar. I'm going to beat feet to 16 out. meters in the direction that Chrisanna went. Okay, so we'll say that you and Chrisanna are now at that. Uh, you're in the on the, the the you're in that tunnel off to the right there. Okay, with the portcullis. Yeah, with the portcullis. Oh, they both have portcullis. The one that you so. un, the one that you unlocked. The one that we unlocked to get, to get in here. Okay, to get cool. in there. All, All right. right. Um, so now everybody rolls a d10 again. Oh, nine. Roll a three, 
Five. All right. Seven. Eight. All right. I go first. Um, I'm going to get up. And um, as I get up, I kind of kneel on the ground and I gesture towards the ground. Um, next, a temporary portal to a realm of the dead opens up. Jeez. And a character within 10 meters, which I'm going to say is Bastion, uh, <laughs> is attacked by wraiths who tear the tear at the victim while shouting their name in despair. The victim um, becomes... I'm... Yeah. Go ahead. I'm actually going to use my protector ability okay. to Ooh. redirect that at myself. Okay. Nice. Um, That's awesome. cool. Uh, so the victim becomes scared. Do you have the scared ability? Or the, the uh, is he already scared? I, I do. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> Super we'll, scared. we'll give you um, another condition, I guess. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I want to go with dirty because I probably get so scared that I just yep. soil myself. Sure. Oh, no. I love it. I love it. There's duck poop everywhere. Um, and you also need to roll a willpower <laughs> roll with a bane. Oh, I already got a bane on it. Anyway, Alright, so. so that's fine. Yeah, you can't double bane it, so. I thought there was a double thing for that, wasn't there? I don't know. Well, I don't know it's, an, it's an 18, so it's not a 20, I guess. Okay, so yeah. you fail it. Yeah. Uh, you then Gosh. become angered. Oh, I'm so mad! And you are forced to at- you are you are forced to attack its source on your next turn in melee combat, if pol- possible. You also become angry. <laughs> All right. Are there any conditions wow. that Macander does not have? <laughs> Currently, ba- I'm I'm unbased. Okay, so once you take all of your your uh, your <laughs> conditions, you cannot push your rolls, and oh. you are basically oh, really? oh, that's cool. Yep, and you are basically uh, rolling at uh, disadvantage or with, uh, on everything. On everything. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, so that was just a hot mess right now. <laughs> that yeah. was my turn. Um, who had the next uh, next highest? Uh, next highest or the next lowest? I'm sorry. Oh, or, you know who, who was next in initiative. I rolled a nine, so I'm sure it's not me. I had a seven. I had, I had five. Must be me. Okay, must be you. Um, so you have to. What does right. he have to do? He has to attack the nearest person. Yeah, you have to attack that that wraith that came through the portal. Oh, the wraith. Okay, I was gonna say. I thought okay. I, I thought it was gonna be uh, like one of us. I will do that. Um, and. <laughs> Uh, I'm not dazed, so it's not uh, not out of bane. That's good. Nice. Oh my god! <laughs> Do roll a, a twenty again. Oh it's my god, dude! <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah, it's a twenty. You can uh, tell that uh, what it does. The wraith, <laughs> as you try to to, you're so enraged and angry at this wraith that's coming through this portal that you're basically swiping at it, and it reaches up and grabs you and slams you to the ground. So you're now uh, at the, uh, you're now on the ground instead of upright. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Uh, who is next after that? I believe that would be Bastin. Bastin. Uh, me. Yes. Um, all right. I think I want to take out one of these things, uh, or this thing's uh, kneecaps. Okay. Because I'm feeling empowered. All right. You're you're carrying all of the loot, so you should. <laughs> exactly. I'm dressed to the nines. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, that's a five, so that's definitely going to work. That's going to hit, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to have 2d8 plus a d6. Yep. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Um, so it takes one point of damage. One? Yep. Uh, Why? Because it, because uh, it has the uh, the melee damage. Yep. And then it also has sixteen. It has six armor rating. Oh, so right. it does, four, the, 
the piercing doesn't go through that. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it does go through. Yes, you're right. You're right. So he does do seven points of damage. Oh, thank so God. You slice through it, and maybe it should have gone through the first time too, since it was. Yep, you're right. So it <laughs> definitely, definitely kind of uh, gives like this howl as you slice it. What did you roll the first time? It was uh, 19 or something. Yeah, his yeah. first damage was yeah. even bigger. Yeah. 19, and then you rolled what this time? Uh, I don't know. What did I say? Uh, I think you said 14. 14, 19, yeah, 14. 14. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can, you definitely, uh, definitely howls with, uh, with, with pain as you, as you hack it with, uh, with this sword. Yeah. All right. Uh, is it Chrisanna? Oh boy. I'd like to keep running away. All right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want to do. We'll say you run all the way down this, uh, this corridor and into that, uh, that room with all the sarcophagi in it that okay. uh, you got all the gilded headbands and all in the rings in there. And uh, right. yeah, you're all the way in there. All right. Okay. Who's next? Uh, that would be me. Sure. Um, I'm going to use all of my remaining willpower. Yep. And cast another fireball since I'm just in the hallway watching this fight go on. Um, in into the room yeah. uh, at uh, level two. All so right. let's see if she goes off or not. It goes off. I rolled a seven, and it does ten points of damage. Awesome! Yeah, you you cast this fireball uh, after you saw Bastion just kind of slice it again with the, with his sword, and uh, it just goes up in flames. And all of a sudden, it the flames turn blue and burn really brightly, and then it just disappears. Like you just see that all the fire goes out, oh. and all that's left is um, uh, is the uh, the gear that uh, that he had, the horned helmet and the the uh, the, the the chainmail armor, okay. and. Um, yeah, he is totally he's totally gone at this point. So he's just vaporized. Yeah, he's he's it. vaporized, and that portal that uh, that had the wraith in it is gone as well. Okay, nice. cool. Nice. All right, now grab and go, boys. <laughs> I'm not stopping for nothing. I'm not even looting. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> grab okay. whatever gears on the way past as you run by. We'll, oh wait, we'll Macander is Macander still messed up? He's still feared or something? Uh, he's uh, got all I'll, those conditions. He's angered. Uh, I, I know that. Or rage. I'll throw him over my shoulder and start carrying him out. <laughs> I'm going to kick it and scream in the whole way. He, he kind of sounds yeah. like Donald. <laughs> when, when Donald Duck is angry, he's like. <laughs> yeah. As he's uh, getting uh, thrown over Bastion's. Uh, uh, Imagine that argument later. Bastion barking at him. Him quacking back. Yeah, right. <laughs> Um. Yeah, you uh, you make it out. Uh, beat with feet, boys. No problem. Uh, no problems. No willpower. It, half my hit points. <laughs> you make it back up out of the uh, out of the hole. You climb the rope and uh, you go back up and uh, you've basically lived to to uh, grab the the, the treasure the that was there. Yes. Um. Now we just have to pry it off, Bastin. Bastin, you um. You definitely feel kind of there's something that's not right in your soul. You feel at this point as you wear this crown, you feel kind of feel something burning inside you that maybe will keep you protected, but probably not in the right ways that it probably should. Um <laughs> And uh, yeah, you all uh, have uh, gotten away with with the treasure of and and the things that uh, you set out with, to achieve. With some Woo! sort of murder, I'm pretty sure. Congratulations, yeah. congratulations! <laughs> um, the, I will I will tell you that there were a couple of things that you did not uh, did not. Congratulations, by the way, because that, that that death knight and the uh, the lady is super super hard when you try yeah. to fight them. Uh, you are basically supposed to just find the loot and run and hope that you don't uh, get tripped okay. up by them. Um, the right. cool thing about the, there's a couple things that, that I was going to try to uh, 
you didn't uh, encounter the, the the vampire bats. You you uh, you avoided those, which was good because I was afraid that you were going to get uh, entangled with those uh, early on and kind of knock down your hit points. Um, the uh, the corpse of the goblin that you found, there uh-huh. was a poison dagger in his in his oh. corpse that you did not search. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So you could have found that. Um, I'm sorry if I'm spoiling this for anybody else that wants to play this or, or anything. <laughs> um, the the lady, the phantom, you could have actually persuaded her with a bane, and she would have handed you over her sword and her chainmail. What? Uh... Wow. Well, she started screaming at us, so like, and we yeah. panicked. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was um a, a stylized crown on the uh, the entrance door, which was right here, mm-hmm. right in that. And you didn't study it. You would have noticed that that crown and that signal signal uh, or that signet on the door also matches the one on the door into. The, uh, the oh, in the death knight's room. Yeah. Uh. So, you, how do you notice that? The other thing that Bastin found is the demon crown. The demon yeah. crown halves all damages from any demon attacks. Yeah. So, had you actually gotten attacked by the death knight, all of your attacks <laughs> would have t- taken half damage. Oh. Wow. Wow, that would be the, awesome. The other thing is that the Death Knight takes half damage from all non-magical weapons. So ah. as you were beating him up, luckily you had piercing damage. So right, but well, half of yeah. it would have yeah, half of it. I, I guess half of it would have uh, piercing damage and a magical sword. So yeah. So anyway, that's uh, that's it. He probably gave you more hit points off of that uh, at the end there than than you probably should have. But we can want to wrap up here. That, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Bastion's like, I don't yeah. care. I got loot. <laughs> is uh, is anyone else curious if if the goblin that we met made it out alive? Grub? Yeah. Did he? Did grub. he escape? I mean, do, or do, do we you... find a poor little murdered grub somewhere on our way out? I feel I feel grub is probably so short that he couldn't reach the rope Aww. that was dangling, and so he was he's probably like huddled in the corner. Or in the, in the edge, like trying to not to disturb the the vampire bats, the one eyed vampire bats that uh, he could have disturbed. And uh, I think you all help him out uh, as as you make your way out of this uh, this river mound. Um, we'll say that that's how that, that's what happened. He can be our sidekick. Yeah, yeah. Right. We can just say that he's he's your sidekick uh, going forward. A new new fifth party party member. So I completely have <laughs> forgotten about the vampire bats. That's why when Austin mentioned in the in the side chat, he's like, "We just sent that guy to his death." And I was like, yeah. <laughs> "The bats!" I was like, oh my god, we're gonna go back in that room, and there's just gonna be like a couple of bats just sipping on a dead goblin, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, I will tell folks that this game was just uh, finished on Kickstarter. There will be a pledge manager available. I will put it did the very link well too in the description. It is a box set. It's a very affordable box set. I, I mean, I, I, at least in, in terms of what, what I perceive as, as, as value, um, I, it's a great, I feel like it's a great game to kind of introduce RPGs with because um, the rules are pretty, pretty, you know, they're not yeah. super heavy. It's rules light enough, but not so much that you aren't having to pay attention to mechanics a little bit. I love on the Kickstarter campaign, someone noted that this is a box set that they're going to put in their camper and take it with their families to vacations and like when they're out camping or something, they're going to be playing this. And I think that that's perfect. It comes with dice. It comes with uh, maps. It comes with, uh, you know, two books and and all sorts of stuff. So if you are excited about Dragon Bane um, or if you're interested in this, this is the quick start. It's available in the, the, on the Kickstarter. And I think I put the link in the description as well. Um, I also put the link to the pledge manager in, in the description. Feel free to check it out. Um, if you feel that you can afford to uh, back it, to feel for uh, late pledge for it, go ahead. Um, if you've already pledged for it, let me know in the comments. 
And uh, let me know if you're excited. And hopefully you enjoyed this actual play. I, I, I probably got a few things wrong, but I feel like we got the uh, not really the gist of, I was yeah. skimming the rules while we played. You you were pretty pretty yeah, accurate I, for most I, everything. I've, I, I've been uh, trying to study up on them uh, pretty well the, over these last couple of days. I, I, actually, I got robbed of willpower points on that short rest, but whatever. It's okay. No, mm-hmm. Sorry. I'll forgive you. All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you all had fun. Um, I'm going to go around, and, and if anybody would like to plug anything else that they do, uh, Amanda, I'll let you go next. If you go first, if you would like to uh, plug anywhere where, where everybody can uh, get more Amanda call content in their lives. Yeah, you can check out my website, ageofnight.com. I just uploaded a new comic page. Go read nice. it. Uh, let's go with Austin. Austin, where, where, where can folks find more content from you? They cannot. No content here, but you can <laughs> you can sp- you can spend that time uh, supporting other content creators that you enjoy and your local game stores. Absolutely, and Austin, you've uh, you've joined us quite a few sessions, so uh, you, we, we're very glad to have you as as a, a regular contributor here on the show. And absolutely, it's always thank you. always a blast to have you on. So thank you for, and this goes for everybody. Thank you for all for giving your time. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, Jason, where where can uh, folks find you? Um, here uh, every Monday with you guys on the Cat of Good Cast. Um, on most social media, I am Hexeter. So at Hexeter, uh, rarely at Hexeter1 is what I throw in there when I can't, for some reason, get my username anywhere. Um, I'm hanging out in discords all over the darn place. So if you're back to any Kickstarters for anything that we've done on VCG, I'm probably hanging out in their discord. So not diff- too difficult to get a hold of me. And uh, Josh, where can, where can folks find you? Uh, you can find me right here on VCG and at uh, Halloweenville here on YouTube. Excellent. And I will uh, remind folks that if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button down below. If you're coming across our content and you'd like to have more tabletop content in your life, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you as a subscriber here. Uh, we we uh, love to showcase all sorts of games uh, here at this uh, on this program. So... With that, I want to thank everyone for tuning in. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, winning shouldn't be the only victory condition when you get to the table. Unless you're Bastion. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Unless you're Bastion. (laughs) We'll see you next time. (laughs) Bye. This video is brought to you by Black Moon Games. Check out their products at shop-black-moon.com. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you would be so kind, make sure you hit that like, uh, comment, and subscribe, all the YouTube jazz that we're supposed to do here. Uh, it really is greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to support us more, uh, you can uh, check us out on Patreon. Just go to patreon.com backslash victorycondition gaming. have all sorts of Patreon perks, and it definitely helps support our show. Thank you so much.